everybody. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Mm-hmm. Kwanzaa. Uh, Festivus. For the rest of us. Remember that? Yes, I do. What show is that from? Seinfeld. I'm Sasha Melanie, uh, helping out the host. I'm the Uncanny Omar. How's everybody doing? Welcome to your Saturday holiday special live stream. I'm not sure what makes it a holiday special, but... Uh, Oh, fa- wait, wait. Thank you, Logan. Oh, why Sonic did we say Merry Master. Xmas? Merry Xmas. Merry Xmas. There we go. Now everybody's thinking that's Wakanda forever these days. But let me tell y'all something. That was X-Men long before Wakanda forever. But y'all can have it too. All father and all mother comics. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, everybody? I hope everybody's having a Oh, good- yeah. Everybody's excited for the Christmas announcement. Oh, was well- were there promises being made? <laughs> yes, uh, that will be on Patreon tonight on Christmas Eve, and then uh, tomorrow Christmas Day will go up. I think I have it scheduled for seven a.m. Yeah, so uh, we did it last year, and Marvel was nice. Marvel was kind enough. David on vacation still approved it, and then um, it was approved by uh, the author, uh, the lawyers. It's a nice word for lawyers. Hey, Bert. Oh, I'm not listening. I'm looking yeah. at the cat. She's not listening. Okay. This is my hey, relationship, James? everybody. Um, hey, how do you do gifts? I didn't think we could do that. Happy holidays, like, whatever you celebrate. Have a great one. Way to, good, way to put it, my Hey, brother. Honda Loria, no time, no see. Good morning from Slam Francisco. Can't believe I'm up. What Don't, are you, that's true. Good what for you. What are you doing up, man? What are you all doing up on this? Good for I know, you. I guess. Uh, it depends on where you live, right? Because it is the 25th, some places and some other places. And have... in Australia, it is December 25th, so 25th right? So on we are December living in the past. Or Michael is living in the future. Merry Christmas. Hey, At least that be that. Good morning. Canada. And Merry Christmas from Edmonton. We've been there. I have a good friend of mine. My good friend Amber lives in Edmonton. That's where we drove we through went? the darkness of the Canadian the dust storm. There was a dust. dust, dust that, yeah, there was a dust, dust storm. storm, and then oh we, yeah, and there was a tornado. Like watch, and they were like, "What? Like that yeah. doesn't happen." We had a we had a lot of fun. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. <laughs> um, hey Chris, good morning and Merry Christmas, uh, Eve, Omar, Melanie. It is very cold in Charlotte here too. Trying to avoid rolling blackouts. Oh, I hope you don't. Yeah. Um, I claws today to celebrate the holiday. I'm assuming you, I, you read claws. What are your fi- favorite? No, he claws. Eve? That's a verb. That's a verb now. <laughs> what are your favorite holiday reads? I didn't read claws this year, but I love claws. Yo, for real though, like uh, Latinos, we usually celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. So it's funny. Like I've seen a lot of memes of Latinos going, nah, man, it starts on Christmas Eve. It's not about Christmas. So it's, it's funny. you like coming between two families, like how we split it up here. Um, but it, uh, for us, it was all about going to mass in the midnight and staying up to get that one gift that might have been a bag of rice for me and my brother to split. But those were the days living in different times now. Belgium, what's up, Belgium? Merry Christmas to you. Merry Xmas. Yes, I love it. <gasps> Atit, how's it going, said, my brother? No, you haven't. Oh. Hold on, hold on. You didn't miss no shout out yet. It's coming. I've even we're getting no, the, the, no. the hellos. Why can't I do it right now? Okay, Hamza, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, Hamza, here's your gift. Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday to you. Oh, you get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Hamza, who has his birthday on Christmas Eve. Happy birthday to you and many more. There you go, buddy. Happy birthday, man. Thanks for being here. Oh, and you get an app too. Ting. (laughs) Alf can do the ting. (laughs) Oh, no. Did it not? Uh, John, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Here, I got Christmas ones. You all, wait, wait, wait. I got a Zorak. Yes. And nothing it, says wait, Festivus wait. like Zorak. He says, look, it's snowing. Oh, I love Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. I hope you too, do too, John. John's like, I've Oops. never seen that show in my life. Uh, real, real. <laughs> Maybe you should read it. Real G- Gail <laughs> Simone tweet. Idea, idea, idea. Okay, what about an erotic thriller remake? A shot for shot, new version, basic instinct, but it's Alf basic. I'll stick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What is wrong with that woman? Has she lost right, her mind? Here's another one. Here's another one. I enjoyed Secret I Six, but that. she's she's uh, crossing oh, that yeah. line. Why oh, are you yeah. getting? Why is he getting oh, two? Oh, oh yeah, because it's out. Well, here we go ahead and do that. Um, Omar's got it. No, 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 no. Tabs. I'm I'm <laughs> uh, because we need them for a couple of reasons. Yeah. Uh, one of them was to share some of the artwork that we have. 
Uh, is Batman Urban Legends a good series? I think it was getting trade paperbacks. Wonder why they didn't do HCs. It's an anthology series taking place in different times of Batman's life. Hits. Some of them are hits. Others, not so much. Hannah saying another great Gail book incoming. <laughs> yeah, Hannah. Is, that, is that her way of throwing a pitch? Merry Christmas Eve. Uh, Merry Christmas, Melanie and Omar Hannah's from New Zealand. Hey, Neil, how are you? My buddy Peter is in New Zealand. So you, when you see him on the streets, you say hello. <laughs> in New Zealand, it's so say tiny. Say hello right? to Fred Derek, what's up, my brother? How's uh, Texas, man? How's it going? Here from Florida for the EU giveaway. <laughs> Remember he kept putting his name in for the EU. Dude, how's Florida? I heard y'all got like 40, 45 degrees. You got like five coats on, Roberto Rodriguez. Whew, man, it got to negative, well, negative three, negative four. Took my kiddo to go see Avatar. Negative six. Negative the way six. And chill, negative 27. Took my kiddo to go see Avatar yesterday. So way of the water. Snow. It's good. I liked it. Thank you. Oh, you look charming. Look Christmassy and dressed up a bit. Yeah, no t-shirt today. Hi, new Spooey channel. I wonder how long X-Men Legends will go and what will the inevitable hardcover collection. Uh, I don't know, but I can guarantee you won't collect the Pizza Hut issues. I'm so sorry, new Spooey channel. And a pizza Merry Christmas, Christmas, Omar Melanie from Nova Scotia, but visiting family here in Toronto, my home city. Dude, how is it up there? I, I can only imagine it's like guys are just... Oh, like that much snow over your head, dude. I'm 40. I know me some space goes coast to coast. Hey, okay, cartoon not... planet, they might be giant. I, uh, I apologize. I'm older than you. I'm 41. Hey, Arjun. Well, we're not aging ourselves here, are we? Uh, what's up, Arjun? How's it going, brother? I already gave you your Christmas gift early. You got an amazing Spider Man Omnibus Volume 4. Cody Owens in the house. What's up, Cody? He's in Denver, and it was 31. Negative. Roberto Rodriguez no, said negative, it was... negative. No, it wasn't. That's not a thing. It's not a thing. I can't be negative 31. Yeah, it's a thing. Ooh, man. Um, Roberto Rodriguez, it's 30. That's as cold as uh, as I like it, man. Uh -uh. People forget the drive, like how to drive when there's like ice and snow and ice on top of snow. And uh, I am giving myself an X-Men omnibus for my birthday. It's the Chris Claremont and Jim Lee. A good starting point. Thank you. And Mary x -Men. Hey, Carlos Diaz. Is it a good starting point? Uh, it's the Outback years. And it's... Pretty much the aftermath of what happened in Inferno. So it's like years of X-Men. It's hard to say, like, I am gonna I promise I'm gonna do a video on where the best jumping on points are for X-Men. Volume two is a better starting on point because it's the relaunch of X-Men, adjectiveless X-Men, as I call it. So uh volume one has a lot of good artwork, and not only Jim Jim Lee, but also Mark Silvestri, Rick Leonardi. So yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think volume two would be better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uncanny's coming back to print, though. Uncanny one, if you want to wait around that much. Only as old as you feel. 42 and just spent the day doing a 4,000 piece nice. Lego. What did you Good build, dude? You. I got up and exercised this morning with EA Sports Active 2 on the Wii from like 2014. I, I burned over 15,000 calories in my lifetime using that game. <laughs> I got up. I showered. Wrappings. Aww. He's got, it's her puppy. He's got oh, more your presents. puppers. Your puppers yeah. is getting a gift. What's up, Jeff? Uh, morning, Omar and Amanda. This is uh, Melanie. I get them but confused, that's okay. too. Oh, no. <laughs> did, uh, we, did we can read Omnibus only? Like, mm, maybe. Do we think we can read? Uh, the? Do you mean, like, is it? Does it make sense, like, or you can follow the story through an omnibus? Only? Oh, yes, yes, absolutely. That's what they're made for. I don't think you're ever going to pick up a like, like back in my day, back in my day. Oh my gosh, I'm already starting with that. We didn't have collected back editions like we do now, so we would start on a single issue, and sometimes a single issue was in the middle of a crossover. I've always talked about how, like, my first DC comic was Crisis on Infinite Earths issue eight, just based on the cover alone. And if you know what issue eight is. What does any of this mean? Why are there two flashes? Why is one of them running until you know what I'm saying? Congratulations, Comics Coda. But no, don't be afraid to touch the pick. I mean, these are big books. Eventually, you're gonna find out what you know things are going on, what happened, and then you'll want to pick up more. That's the downside, right? Like you'll want to keep reading, so you'll want to get another omnibus, and before you know it, before um, you know it. Yeah, Comics Coda. I remember. When near mint past 100 subs. Oh, it was a big deal, man. Uh, I make music based on comics and just made one based on Gideon Falls. That's really cool. And now I get 
why your name is Comics Coda. Oh, okay. I'm about to work out now. Your theme stream. stream. I'll take <laughs> Our stream. Steam. My steam. Will keep me motivated. Keep on going, buddy. Making Aww. breakfast while watching you. Mom, is, is that, that your, your friends? Hi, Josh's mom. What's Merry up? Christmas Eve. What's... Nope, I'm going to be nice. I hope Hi, you're... Josh's mom. I hope uh... you have a sweet boy. I hope your your husband is is on the mend. Is he been sick? No, he, he broke ankle. Ooh, yeah. Well, that's not fun, especially during the holidays or anytime. Uh, good on you, Melanie, for yeah. taking care of your health. Omar getting <laughs> up is only half the dude. I need. I got a New Year's resolution. I focused a lot on the channel this year, and it kind of <laughs> took uh, took a lot of time. Like, but I, I did. I I would get up and go do exercise and things like that from time to time, but not as much as I used to. Time to get back on. The, I got to get back on the bow flex. I got to commit. Got to commit. Your mom. You have mom, no idea how often we hear that in this household, my you. dude. <laughs> we hear that so often in this okay, household. Here we go. Um, I think you should start uh, making more content for collector's edition. You know, for variations. Okay. Um, what kind of col collectors editions? Like, uh, what kind of books are you talking about? Okay, give me, give me some uh, examples. For example, Oop. Give, <laughs> Give me some examples, examples, example. please. There we go. Do you think there'll ever be a Punisher Daredevil omnibus reprints? Daredevil, yeah. We're getting the Frank Miller one here in a month, I believe. Punisher, no word yet, but we're starting to get epics. Will Legion of Superheroes five years later omnibus get reprinted at some time? No, but if you're looking for one, uh, no cheap graphic novels has some. They were able to get some uh, just uh, this past week. So if you're looking for that, if you're looking for Descender, I think he still has copies of Descender. But that's cheap graphic novels. Tell them near mint condition sent you their way for free shipping on your next. And then you type in the code near mint condition. Yeah. No, no, you have to email. They'll, oh, email, oh, I'm they'll, sorry. Or, they'll email you your, you know, your your receipt, and then you just email them back. Hey, near mint condition sent oh, you your way. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Any word on King Conan Omni Two? Nothing yet, nothing yet, but I'm sure those will come. Uh, the only one we know of for sure is Savage Sword coming, I think, in September of next year. Savage Sword Volume 9, that is. Yeah. Um, Craig, I don't watch a lot of movies because I don't like sitting there for that long. That's oh, it. Oh, House of M, yeah, that's um, believe it. I usually try to do overviews the week the books come out, so it's fresh on people's minds. Um, I learned, you know, here's the thing, like when people ask me, like, when's your overview of this? You know, you, uh, I learned here in the last couple of years, like being first isn't usually the best idea uh, when it comes to overviews of books, because you have to give the presentation. You got to do your homework. You got to read. You got to make sure you know what you're talking about when giving a presentation of a book. Uh, especially when a company is kind enough to send you books, like wh wh whether it's Marvel or Fanagraphics or Dark Horse or whoever I've worked with, I I can't um, not read it and just open up a book. So that's why it takes me some time too, or I'm sorry, some time to get to the overview of a book. So when people see something in the back, they're like, oh, you got that, man. You got to go ahead and open that up and give us an overview. Uh, for me, it's never been as easy as taking the plastic out, stretching the spine and going, here's some pretty pictures. Here's another pretty picture. But for On me, it's tour, more about you can see the shelf of upcoming reviews or like where he keeps the books. Yeah, like yeah, from, I did do that on the on the um, the other books. Um, I have so um, I'm gonna say wise Scout is not just books, also video games are maybe movies. Oh, okay. Like I mean, I was thinking about doing my tour for Patreon of like video games when that room is finished because. Um, I mainly focus on collected editions on the channel. Could be we'll dungeon. <laughs> That's it is not, right now. There's no uh, what's it called drywall. It's so dark, no windows. <laughs> uh, Cody, Amanda, and I actually did that video. Our favorite movies and TV shows of 2022. And look uh, next week. Look out for a video of lots of YouTubers' favorite reads mm -hmm. of this year. Yeah, yeah. Like was other a, comic um, creators, content uh, creators, co other comic. Content creators. You there you go. <laughs> and Jeff worked out. Winter Twin Powers activate. Choo! All right. Everybody's living healthy. That's yeah. good. I like that. You guys, stay. I remember uh, one of my favorite comments I ever got was when I made an announcement of an upcoming omnibus. 
And I cannot remember who it was, but they said, Omar, we're in our 40s now, man. We got to make sure we get there to get these books. We got to stay healthy. And I'm like, I like that. I like that. Gives us something to look forward to. And I know it might sound silly to some people, but to some people, it means a lot that these books are coming and it's something to look forward to. And I think that's wonderful. That's one of the biggest, I guess, highs, if you call it that, that I get from announcing the books. Whether I'm, you know, whether it's for me or whether it's for somebody else, I love the fact that it can make someone stay, you know, uh, regardless of sometimes all the negative comments that are in there. There's still so many people that it reaches. They're like, oh, this is for me. This book's for me. And I think that's wonderful. Hi, Omni Mentees, again, reporting live from a gem, another gem head here. Yeah. Uh, Pittsburgh. Are you on a stationary bike? Is your name He's, Fiona Staples? <laughs> we, don't, we don't do that. Uh, negative 24 degrees weather with wind chill. Wind chill. Ugh. While ordering last, last minute, minute gifts. gifts. Oh, my gosh. By the way, Starman. Star yeah, Melanie. Starman 2. Starman's what you, uh, Compendium 2. Compendium uh, 2 came out. Yeah, uh, that was the video we did last year for, uh, was it? No, we did Christmas live episode, and I think the Christmas episode day after was your gift to me was reading Starman. Yeah. It was good. It was a good uh, book. There you go. Some people you didn't get like the it as main much girl's that gift. That is such a good movie. That is an excellent movie, but not as good as Starman, the book. <laughs> Starman, the book. So thank you. And thank, thank you, my brother, Nick, for the um, super chat. How are you? How have you been, man? Uh, happy belated Festivus. Love the channel, all the content, and love you guys. Hope you have a happy and safe holiday together. Here we uh, go. Together. <gasps> you said oh. happy as soon as he said happy. Let's do it. Do it. Do <laughs> no, it. Do it. <laughs> you then you have to hold, do the whole thing. And this is the AMA when well, it snaps. No, just do that. We're going to have the happiest, happiest Christmas. No, no that's not how. Okay. Please and do we're going to have the ha ha happiest Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I like it. I just, uh, uh, okay. the older I get, the go. more I, uh, Clark Criswell reminds me of myself when I snap. There we go. So again, thank you, Nick. Thank you, Sorry, my I had to remove that so you could read it. Favorite Christmas related comic book? What a good question, Randu. Uh, oh, no. Christmas on Bear Mountain. And oh, that's a good answer because mine's. Claws, because it's good and Claw it's gorgeous artwork, and he's sexy. Okay, wait. No, this is the so. If you time. like uh Dan Mora's work, check out no claws. Sword, no, what's it called <laughs> the one I read in a slipcase? It's oversized. King Arthur. Oh, uh, the once a, once a future. Oh yeah, once a future. I knew it was something to something. Yeah, he's uh, right now. There's a Kickstarter Cute. for all three volumes of Claws in these big, nice, beautiful editions. Um, favorite spine art so far. You remember when you asked? She asked nice. me that during the tour, and I did? Oh. you were like, "What's your favorite spine art?" And it was the McFarlane one with Spawn, uh, not Spawn, Spider Man, and Venom on the on the spine because it's from the Spider Man versus Venom omnibus. Uh, but I like, man, I don't know. That's a good question. Hey, just really follow quick. the mutants. Oh, follow the mutants issue two twenty two. No spine. That's on the spine. Issue two twenty two. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Wolverine I'm sorry. and Sabretooth. I love, I love that Where Sylvester it? piece. It's right here? behind you. It's Wolverine like holding Sabretooth up, and yeah. I'm on a stationary bike though. No. <laughs> I am on a stationary bike. Please tell me. Hi, in FedEx. You're going to announce an Alpha Omnibus tomorrow. <laughs> I am not. Did you read Case Close? Uh, yes, I did. Detective Conan. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I, I kind of stopped reading after volume 10, though. I lost track. Happy holidays to you, M. FedEx. I know you're working really hard. Uh, Where's all the mutants? Oh, my gosh. Hey, Omar, I watched your Knights of Pendragon preview. Notice that oh. it includes Overkill 5, but actually shows the cover to 4 instead. It, it is 5. That's weird that it showed. No, 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 no. Wait. It shows the cover to, to, to I'm sorry. It shows the cover to 4, but also 5 is in there. There's the following. Mutant. That's the one that I like. Happy holidays and thanks for Happy spreading holidays. the joy. Dude, thank you so much, Kevin Happy Barry. Holidays. Thank you for the super chat and, and the kind words. Christmas vacation, better than Starman. Who said that? Was that Taylor there you Talks go. Comics? You get she and He-Man. <laughs> oh, what a bad, bad, bad holiday <laughs> special. And not even nostalgia saves that one. That one is a bad, bad holiday thank special. Thank you, Kevin. And we have another um, super chat. Hey, Aaron, thank you. How's How it going, you my doing? brother? Merry Christmas to you both from the Cobbs family. We've enjoyed your friendship and hope this gift blesses you. Also, Spider-Man stories for life. That's right. That's right. My man. So, Aaron's the I hope you like cats. 
Aaron's the gentleman that always helps me with the upcoming collected editions with the Marvel and the DC stuff. I mean, that is such a blessing because, oh my goodness, as he, as he knows, it takes a long time to put things together. And, um, but yeah, so big shout out to Aaron. He's a, he's a really good dude and he's going to help me with the Spider-Man reading order next year. Uh, we're going to try to include as much as we can. Stories well, for life. People have been wanting an updated Spider-Man reading order. So I was like, okay, yeah, we can do it. We can do it. Um, and every, you know, on Patreon, I make our patrons vote for whatever reading orders next. But when you have things in there like Spider-Man versus Alf, usually nine times out of ten, Spider-Man wins. Although this surprised me. Oh, I thought me, you meant it was a comic every, issue of Spider-Man versus Alf. Well, what happens is every time I have Wonder Woman and I want to do a Wonder Woman, Woman reading order, it usually loses. I think the last time I lost out to Thor. And I can't remember who it was before then. And I'm like, oh, well. That surprised me. I really thought Wonder Woman was going to win this time around. You know, when I was a kid watching ALF, I had no idea that in the future, through a computer, I would talk to people about ALF. You could have Isn't stopped. Isn't that cool? You could have stopped that through a computer. I talked to people. <laughs> That's you true. had no idea either. <laughs> Although, unless you watch Star Trek. Um, right? Josh's mom agrees. New Warriors is overrated. <laughs> it's and the holiday, so I'm going to. Namaste. Uh, um, Chris, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, my brother. On a quick to wish you and your wonderful family and all mentees and a wonderful holiday. Stay safe and warm. And ask David, where's our silver surfer <laughs> volume two? Uh, okay, I, I, well, he's on vacation. I can't borrow or bother him. He's on vacation, can't man. Borrow. And he says New Warriors forever. That's right, my dude. New Warriors forever. That's right. Um, but to answer the question a little bit earlier, I did. Um, you seem a little tired. Asking if you're. Thank you, Chris. I haven't slept well the last couple of days. You know why? Because I've been drinking caffeine for the last three days. It keeps me up sometimes. I need to cut back. Cut back on caffeine. Get back on the Bowflex. I'm going to commit. The Bowflex. Is it in the garage? It's in the garage. <laughs> Warren said New Warriors, meh. Oh, Warren, it's the holidays, so you get a pass. <laughs> the guy that created the internet made it specifically for ALF conversation. That is not, that is not a fun fact at all, dude. Um. To answer your uh, a question, New Spooky Channel from earlier about the X Men adaptations, I just flipped through it and then decided I didn't want to read it. <laughs> no, you know what she did? She instead took my uh, Spider Man oh. Beyond omnibus, and I'm like, Oh yeah, what? I started reading that. I'm like, where is it? I can't find it, and then I forgot that she had taken it. So I think Spider Man related in this house usually yeah. kidnaps, <laughs> and when I'm looking for it, I, it I can't looks find interesting, it. and I'm giving Ben Riley a chance. So. Somebody was asking earlier if I've gotten my copy of the Spider-Man by Nick Spencer omnibus. No, I didn't. And I actually um, emailed David about that two weeks ago. So I, I probably have to wait until it's in stock to get it. Mine was probably lost. Have you watched any comics related X-Men stuff? I've watched X-Men X -Men's episode of 90s. <laughs> this is a lot of X-Men. Uh, X-Men episode of 90s X-Men and Batman animated shows. Oh, that's such the a good Batman idea. one is a good The Batman one's a good one. The 2003 TMNT. Going to watch the X-Men episode of Justice League. Let's do that and the, the X-Men Evolution later. I don't think I've ever you seen the X-Men Evolution one. Did you watch X-Men I feel like your mom's only streaming service is like old ladies. No, it's a BBC. No, 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 no. What's that it's one not where even they repeat BBC. the commercial over and over? Not Peacock. Peabody. Pe yes. So I'm going to have to watch. Pluto. It. Pluto. Yeah. That's what it it's is. It's like Inspector. It's like MST3K only channel or like. Uh, whose line is it anyway? Only channel. I can do whose line is it anyway. It's all those inspector Purdue uh, like episodes or not murder she wrote. What's inspector the, what's her what's her name? I got the Christie yeah, yeah, stories. Yeah. Uh which I can only handle so much of. How's the Mariko Tamaki Detective Comics run? I've only read the first trade. It's not it's okay. I like Chip Sadarsky's run better. Oh, Edward, you saw uh you no. saw all my right heroes come is nervous and didn't come say Dude, hi. no, don't. Well, thanks for saying thank hi you, now. thank you, man. And and don't ever, don't ever get shy around me, dude. You can come over, talk to me. It's cool. I always tell people, even when I'm filming, you can come and talk to me. Except if it's me, then he's like, Shut Unle <laughs> unless it's Chris Claremont, then everybody get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Good day, good sir. <laughs> or uh, Chris Claremont or Elvira are my two. My two. Uh, uh, don't come near me. I'm already nervous enough as it is. Uh, Al Gore invented the internet. Al, Alf, connect the dots. Taylor talked to yes, is on a roll sir. today. Connect the dots. La, la, la. Merry Xmas to you, my brother, from Australia. 
um, I'm on roll with the songs. New Year's resolution was to become a near mint Patreon. Oh, just made I just made the credits for the oh, first thank time. You. Yay! Now I have to buy I of Odin to commemorate. Dude, I of Odin was a lot of fun. Like, you no, know, like I, I creators send me books from time to time, and it's so sweet. And I I stack them on piles to read, but that one just made it to the next read pile as I was getting a video ready, and I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna read this. And I, I really enjoyed it. It was really good. <laughs> Miss Marple. Who's Miss Marple? Oh yes, shows like that is what I'm. Father gonna... Dowling mystery. Hey, yeah, I love that. That's, that's not no, that's too fresh for uh, Melanie's mom. She likes them old. That's too fresh. She did but, watch it. Like where they had like an actual uh, orchestra station. playing <laughs> at your home because they don't have no soundtrack. Oh, your mom. Oh, remember when I woke up and it like I was like I was having a vivid weird dream because I woke up. Melanie's mom c came over. And she listens to this weird music at the uh, early in the morning, and I'm like, I wake up, I'm looking around the it's house, like and 50s I, radio. Shows. Oh no, it's it's like 30s, and oh, I'm yeah. like, is it Armageddon? <laughs> like, what's happening? Is this what Jericho's trumpet sounds like? Because it's so eerie. And then I hear your mom just jamming to it. I'm like, oh, jamish. <laughs> Eating her English muffin. Eating her English English, English right. muffin without anything on it. This All right. person is reading Sandman uh, over Hebrew. Midnight reader. Uh, so reading Sandman in Hebrew? Because that's really cool. I feel like I had a dream about Sandman. What's up, Loki? Oh, he, you changed your name. How's it going, my brother? Oh, yeah. You it's it's it. Manuel, right? Manuel? Yeah. Is, is that, that's your name. Yeah. What fun do you guys have in store for me today? Well, we're going to be talking to you Probably today. Probably more songs. Doing. Uh, I did read Chainsaw Man. As a matter and of fact, you may see it pop up on the video that I'm doing for Tuesday. That is where I'm working with YouTube content creators as their favorite reads of 2022. Well, we are in 2022, right? Yeah, I was Oof. thinking next week it'll be 2023. That's so weird. Favorite Christmas movie? Uh, Buffy S Christmas Carol. Toss up between Scrooge. I'll die on that hill. So good. Perfect. Scrooge or uh, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. They're both great. Oh, those are good too. But um, in fact, Omar made, uh, Omar Animanta made a uh, movie trivia game for us, mm. but it photoshopped the people or the faces out of it. And it was just apples. I was like, Muppet Christmas Carol, just the apples sitting Chino. there. Chino. <laughs> um, David, this is the first time David uh, is commenting. Merry Christmas, but love the content y'all put out. Please keep it coming. And somebody earlier. Thank you so much, man. Um, Somebody earlier was uh, encouraging you because the YouTube grind is hard. It it, it is. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's things we don't really talk about, but it's a it's a bit of a pain sometimes. Is it necessary to read FF Omnibus One by Hickman before Omnibus Two? Yes, yes. Usually uh, the answer is like. Eh. Usually the answer is no, but Hickman's telling one. Oh big yeah, yeah, story, that's true. That's true. And you don't want to miss You're out right. on it. The 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 setup to two. Yeah, and and volume one will be back to print, by the way, uh, next early next year. Sammy, I like your avatar. Hopefully, I haven't. Oh, Omar will be so proud of me. I picked up a copy of Avengers: The Crossing Omnibus, and it was delivered this morning. I read it wow. when it came out. Mark Zimmer, a day. man after my own heart. That's right. You uh, picked up. I thought you were gonna make a joke. I picked up a copy of Avengers: The Crossing, and I immediately put it back down, reminding myself what a horrible story it was. Don't hate on it. Everybody had every. I feel like every reader or everybody that has a hobby, right? Whether it's video games or or, thank or you, books. Samuel. Thank you, Samuel. Um, has that one book that no or or video game or whatever it is that you collect that one thing that nobody else likes, but it doesn't matter, right? As long as you love it, that's all that matters. Appreciate you guys making my life better, and I changed my name to improve my business on oh, that channel. Good. All right, Loki twenty ninety nine. I like all that. things awesome. All things awesome. And, and FedEx, because, they love. They love gremlins. Oh, yes. And look at Big Stu. What was the misprint in the Silver Surfer Omni? Oh, uh, the, f okay, the reprint, the first print, the first batch that went out from the reprint had two, I think it was two pages that were doubled, that were doubled up. So what pages were they? I kept my copy because I, I, I it didn't bother me that much. I, honestly, I didn't even notice until somebody pointed it out. Uh, I can't remember the pages, but it was like the same pages showed up later in another issue. So one of the issues doesn't really have a finish to it. I think it's issue 17, maybe. 
That was two years ago. Can't remember. Batman Returns is a Christmas movie because it was in your trivia. Mm -hmm. And Ben, thank you for the super chat. Merry Christmas, Omni. I'm going to give you this one. Frosty Happy Snowman. birthday. Thank you for another wonderful year of comics and community. Peace, love to Minty's everywhere. No, you got to say it right. Happy birthday. Boy, I'm just not on a roll today, not sounding like characters from TV <laughs> shows, movies, or cartoons. Thanks for reminding me. Um, what are your thoughts on Greg Capullo potentially going to Marvel? I'd love to see him on Avengers or uh, or X-Men. How about you? Have a good Christmas. Thank you so much, Matt. Um, I interviewed Capullo years ago, and he told me that he had a chance to draw Astonishing X-Men, but instead he chose Batman. Mm -hmm. Hold on one second. Or you take over, baby. Yeah. Um, because hey, okay, um, okay. people in the chat love him up at Christmas Carol. Josh, yes, I know it has the full version, and that's what I've watched oh, as a kid. And the uh, it's got the song "When Love Is Gone," "When Love Is Gone," and they took it out because they thought it was too slow and kids wouldn't like it. However, at the end with the credits, it brings it back around, or yeah, and before the credits with um. The love we found. Oh, I got goosebumps. <laughs> and I was like, that doesn't mean as much if you don't have that. I have it on vinyl and I cried twice. I just bawled with these songs. And then Omar makes she fun does. of uh, the Ghost of Christmas Present. It's going home and getting drunk by the fire. That's my version. That's no, not the real version. By the fire. It's true wherever you find love. And speaking of love. What are you doing? <laughs> I just want to show this really quick. Okay. Because a viewer sent this a while ago. And I just want to plug it because it's so good. That's what I'm drinking right now. My Final Fantasy 10 mug. It's, um, I'm sure you could Google it. Austin, Texas, Little City Coffee Roasters. This one, Congress Avenue, milk, chocolate, caramel smooth. Like I drink coffee with, uh, what's it called? Creamer and you don't need it for this. Oh, they all taste so good. And there's like ones with fruity flavors, but this one's my favorite. Just saying, uh, I really appreciate it. The viewer who sent it. And I was go check them out because oh it's good and it's it's um you, you gotta grind it smell it oh god oh it smells like okay. I wish I liked coffee as much as you did um but I like the smell of coffee well smell some more I wanna um, I take this time to give a shout out to Dan Dan Nickel good I'll he sent he I'll sent us a, a wonderful email and. Just want to give him a big virtual hug, my dude. Much love, yes, and I don't know if you're you. watching that right really, now. He Omar showed the the email this morning. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much, man, for reaching out. Um, what's up, King Sport Cal? Como estas, hermano? Happy uh, happy holidays to you, Mel. You get a rose. I'm getting nothing. My, My water, water pipes are frozen. Are oh, at the moment, dude, it'd be nine degrees in Tennessee. Remember, this holiday is about man-made Santa. But about Christ. Look at my dude preaching. First of all, how frozen are your pipes? Like, because that's scary to me. I have to like leave you our. You have to drip in. Uh, oh, you haven't turned. And that's a like that's Please something don't. that we didn't like. I assume they do it in America. I never asked, right? Dripping water is that that's something y'all do, right? I just sure. you all. How many years ago were you nat naturalized? What's the word? <laughs> Naturalized. I took my citizenship know, test. Such a horrible word. That's why I said it. Because, if, all right. It, uh, uh, not, I, it, I don't even know how to answer that. If we're collected as a manga, you had a Trump's haircut on your okay, we uh, okay. nationalization. This is how you're changing the subject. Nationalization oh certificate. <laughs> if we're collected editions manga, did you prefer the three in one edition or standard Tonkabon edition? I don't like the three in one editions because I don't they, either. they use this. Um, it's too thick. It's the spine will crack on you. But the other thing that I don't like is this newsprint paper they use. Um, it's like the ink almost rubs off. And then sometimes the art comes through so much on the other side. So I like the Tonka Bonds for those. Now, if you have like the Lux editions or like the big Viz editions, those are better. They use better, uh, better paper stock, but they are also more expensive. Um, yeah. You said the citizen test was like really difficult. Oh yeah, it was like name all your con like how many congressmen we have, how many like uh, House of Representatives and things like that. It, it stinks to like get your citizenship in America. I think I took that. When was that? Nineteen ninety 
you have to be here 10 years. So I assume I took took it in 1997. Yeah. And my brother, because he was under 18 when he came here, he didn't have to take it. But after being in America for 10 years, I assume it's still the same thing. You could take your citizenship test. And if you pass it, you swear in an oath and you become an American citizen. Um, I'm letting this live play on my phone. And it just said, don't forget, you're a moderator for this channel. And then it gives tips on how to help. Oh, know. that's nice. Melly, check out Brooklyn Bean for coffee. They are that's delicious. Nice. Mr. Magoo Christmas Carol has a song where young Scrooge sings, a hand for each hand is made for the world. Always gets me. <laughs> So, something about those holiday movies, man. And then Charlie Brown Christmas. Okay, how about that's my favorite special instead, of, so I can have both that and Muppet Christmas. No oh, way, yes, man. Lucy is a Christmas Mr. Song. Bean's Christmas special. That's oh, the that's Christmas good, special. Dude. Look how bold my voice got. <laughs> when, he, when he buys his girl that <laughs> ring. <laughs> and it's no, a, it's the book. It was the it's ad. The hook. It's the hook to the and ad. When he has baby Jesus he's, uh, and he picks it up with a magnet. Wait, uh, wait, wait, wait. So. I've got that on vinyl, Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with that soundtrack. It is, oh man, so good. Omar, will you mm -hmm. review Superman Birthright Deluxe Edition? Waiting on your opinion on the paper and the build of the book. Uh, yes, yes, that will come sometime this week. Okay. If Henry Cavill comes to the MCU, who would you like to see him play? If the character wasn't already cast, I would love to see them play Hercules. Yeah, I know. He would have been great as Hercules. I think for me, I'd love to see him play Captain Britain. And I know that sounds probably stereotypical because he's British and he's built huge, either that or Hyperion. Somebody suggested that when Amanda and I were doing a show. Oh, oh you, Sean, you have to help your parents study for that? Yeah, I had to help my mom and dad study for that too. The three and ones are great when I'm on a budget. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Three That's and ones are point. awesome. Man. That's a good point. Uh, hey, Phil's nerdy first. Merry Christmas, y'all. It's been a while since I've had the been. live stream, but I'm kicking back with some red wine. Oh, hope everyone yet, gets all the yet. books they want from Satan. <laughs> Tell about that eggnog I had and bourbon. Some eggnog, yeah, it tasted really good, eggnog and bourbon, but then afterwards my tummy kind of... Uh, yeah, but Tommy was like, we drank all the eggnog. I'm like, no, no one. We in the history of You bought two world, We have a lot of family. Uh, I didn't expect to like it, but with X -mas that... Xmas movies that, that you don't whiskey. realize are Xmas movies, films, Die Hard Thank 1 and 2. Thank you for the super Finn chat. Man, Lethal Weapon. I don't think I realized Lethal Weapon was a... Christmas movie until I saw it a few years back. Never thought about that, but now it's like become a, a Christmas movie, if you will. The Thin Man and Donovan's Reef. I didn't think about The Thin Man, but those are some good choices, man. Chairman Troy, thank, thank you, you so much for the super chat, my brother. Thank you for all you do for the fandom. 1214, I was run over by a drunk driver. 1214, 2021. I'm still unable to walk. Your content and arrival of new books has been something to look forward to. Thank you for being there, dude. Thank you, and I and I hope you're doing better. And I hope you're on the mend and and able to walk again, because that's you are strong. So I'm going to put this gift with uh, Ryu. That's the Japan. Ignore that it says Japan. Okay. Ryu's back there. Where's guts? Oh, I deleted it. You've deleted I Guts and we have gifts. five ALF gifts? Sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. I said gifts, not gifts, gifts. Only two ALF gifts. And secondly, I got new comic gifts for next week. Oh, okay. Maybe we could do them today. Um, Stay strong, brother. That's, uh, geez, yeah. Uh, I, I don't have words. Um, Stay strong, man. I haven't. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Tomorrow's announcement. Quit trying to get something out but of this. But for those of you who are on Patreon, the five dollar tier, you'll get to see the video release this evening. Um, Probably and... as soon as this is over. Oh, okay. Not. I don't want to forget. And then, yeah, that's true. And then, um, and then in the morning, seven a.m., it'll be published for everybody. But there's a Discord, so you could talk about with people without. Uh, giving away what's coming out. Oh, yeah. I think it's funny. It's special. You get a secret to talk about. I think it's funny. Omar talks about needs exercise. Not going to lie. Sometimes I watch your overviews in the gym. Oh, yes. Doing cardio, watching an Omni review. That's what's uh, up. That's, yeah. Oh, gosh. I listen to YouTube all Almost, the time doing things. I'm going to start a new segment where I'm on a bike, stationary bike, and doing an overview of a big book. Then I drop it a few times. Then I get mad. It'll be live. <laughs> I'll be live. <laughs> Alf, Gilf. I can't believe I said Gilf. Um, tomorrow's announcement will be Dazzler. Save you some. Where has Rebel 
for design, Ben. I haven't seen her by for a few design. months. By design, I'm sorry. Maybe that's why I've been calling the wrong person. Rob, by design, we love you. And I miss you on the live streams. I haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> Joe I'm, Cool. I'm getting, I'm getting a little worried now. Joe Cool. Joe Cool. <laughs> Neil. No, I didn't. No, no. It was not a Freudian slip. Any hints on when we'll see a Jason Aaron Thor Omnibus Volume 2? Uh, no hints because I really don't know. I haven't heard about it. But I'm hoping 2023 because we Thor Aaron was – was it this year? It was this year, right, guys? Volume 1? I think so. Pop culture fact, the 22-year-old Henry Cavill, Cavill, was the finalist for the role of Superman in Brian Singer's Superman Returns and lost out to Brandon Routh. He eventually got the role later. Thanks, that means Bert. never give up this on your guy, dreams. Bert's this, a good dude. Yeah, this he's good guy's people. smart. He's helped us out. He's good people. He's smart. Yeah, yeah well, we haven't Bert heard smart. who has the Transformers and G.I. Joe license yet. Whenever you're dealing with toy companies, they are the... They're the ones that run everything. They're the ones that get to decide when that announcement comes. So it's not up to the publisher. Uh, they're the ones that get to decide, you know, what type of books that you do, you can do, because a lot of it is driven by the toys that they want to produce. So if they want a specific story, uh, story, you know that shattered glass story arc where like it, it's an it's an alternate uh, history, it's an alternate reality. And like Autobots are villains and some Decepticons are good guys. I know it's unheard of. But a lot of that came from the toy company, Hasbro, who's like, hey, we have these molds. We just repaint them, which happens every time, right? Like, with Oh, is that where Arctic Dark, Attack Batman? Dark Opti no, Black Ultimus? What, what's his no, name? No, no, Convoy. That was, that's been a oh, Japanese Convoy. thing forever. Oh, okay. That's uh, Black Convoy. What's he called in America? Scourge or something? But Every like Jetfire, all these toys that have been released had like a shattered glass version, an evil version, and they were just repaints of the same mold. So even the stories sometimes are driven by what the toy companies want. Um, I'm assuming they're waiting for some kind of show to make a huge announcement, maybe a movie. Even though we just got Rise of the Beasts trailer, I'm surprised we haven't gotten an announcement. So that's what we're waiting for. Okay, so Thor was in March. So I'm assuming it, it will come in 2023. Do you have an insider info of whether the events of Civil War and Siege are going to be printed in modern epics of Bendis' new Avengers? They're pretty essential to that run. I also think Secret War is pretty essential to that run. But I don't... Mm, mm, forgive me. I don't have any inside info on that. You're forgiven. Bye, okay, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff is leaving? Yes, <clears throat> Oh, my goodness. If only David Gabriel was in the chat today, he would see everyone still wants an alpha omnibus. <laughs> what? Is that what we're going to waste our time with? Uh, I love how many people were, like, uh, laughing Nemesis, about the gills. <laughs> Nemesis Prime is what they call him. Nemesis Prime. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Okay, so I'm new to the channel. Who's your favorite superhero? Spider-Man. Wolverine. That guy right there. Who's right. your favorite superhero? Right there. Who's your favorite superhero? You like Naruto, I, I can see. Hi, guys. And Merry Christmas to the Nearman family. By the way, it's Sigil, not mm -hmm. Sigil. Mm -hmm. The only cross-gen reprint announced up to now. Yes. That and then you have a trade paperback collection coming out too. Oh, and FedEx, if only. Maybe. I don't know if I want that or not. <laughs> She's saying that I got it. Hasbro's buying DC and using their resources to print IPs and give them capital to run better. <laughs> oh, uh, you're <laughs> welcome. Canadian mustache. Is it true David Gabriel's Portuguese? What? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't, maybe. Maybe he is. Uh, Galactic Pig Marvel does. Or did. It was printed through Marvel. Yeah. Who knows who has the rights now? Sony, maybe? Why did I say Sony? Is it, What streaming service is it on? Whatever streaming service it's on. It will oh, no. The comics. Oh, I see what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Oh, has David given any <laughs> read update it, read it, read on the? Oh, Omar, I can't. Roll, roll those R's, roll, baby. Roll those R's. Do baby. it, Omar. Yeah, Omar. Right. <laughs> has uh, David given any update? Oh my gosh, you're spinning all over. <laughs> Just stop. I love you for who you are. Um, has David given any update for that box set of 2021 that was postponed? I I asked him if I could announce it, you know, because it's not going to show up. And then he he was like, "Yeah, go ahead." No, but they, and yeah. then he immediately emailed me back. He but said, "You know what? No, <laughs> let's wait because we might do it. We might have time to do it sometime." Shout but factor. But that was uh, like that was last year. 
Or that was, was last year. year. No, that was this year when I was just like, can I just tell them what it was supposed to be? Yeah. I think that's the book that I've known or the project that I've known about the longest that I can't say a word about. Whisper in my ear. I don't know. No, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. Don't forget. I know how this works. Was it the Robots in Disguise 2000 release of Scourge, a repaint of a previous Optimus Prime figure? Yeah, it was uh, the Laser Optimus Prime. You are correct. From Generation 2. All I Want for Christmas is another Judge Dread video. It. All I want for Christmas is another Judge Red video. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> was that the yes? Two front teeth. No. All I want for Christmas. Oh, you know that another Mariah Judge Red video in 2023. You're doing a Mariah Carey take on that. <laughs> Merry Thank Xmas you. to Slovakia too, my brother. I was, I was uh, laughing at this. Just describe no, through no, interpretive no. dance. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, after getting into comics this year, it's crazy learning about Transformers IDW ownership. Never thought it would be a ha such a hassle. With, anytime there's licensed products like that involved, it's always a pain. Like you're, you either have to buy them as they're coming out to make sure you have them, or you have to panic when they lose a license and you're like, oh, now we got to find volume three of this book. You know, because at any time, even though they have good sales records of Ninja Turtles. Those could also be gone, and somebody else could scoop up the license. Happy holidays, Omar, Maddie, and Minty family. My question is, oh, this is Miss Melanie, by That's the way. Okay. I mean, not Miss Melanie. <laughs> That's my daughter. Miss Melanie. You are too, too, too many ladies. Uh, yeah, check out Maddie Tuesday evenings for over your new reader. 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. She's always got different peoples on. My question is, when do you think we'll get a Wade and Mora as world's finest in hardcover format? Dude, they're killing it. That's where Dan Moore has been working with Mark Wade. Mm -hmm. I want him to do another history of the DC universe too. I think we need an updated one after everything is done, but he put a social media post out there that he was confused too, as to what is history. Nice. <laughs> deep space. Nine. It is deep space. Nine. <laughs> it's my Christmas sweater. Don't ruin it. Uh, my favorite superhero is Bishop. I'm from the future. Dude, Bishop was so cool when he showed up sure. and he was like, they're X-Men are having a picnic and Bishop's just taking out his gun. And he's like, I'm gonna kill you, Gambit. They're having a picnic? Yeah. Or... You don't remember this? It was an X-Men 8, everybody. Every that's when that's when you became a man when Psylocke stepped out of the water in her Pikachu <laughs> bikini. And she was like, and Scott Summers, and we all had the same like um like he's with Gene, and he's like, he's looking at Psylocke stepping out the water, and Gene's like, What is it, Scott? And Scott's like, um, you know, that professor guy. That he's, professor guy. He's, um, <laughs> he's quite a gentleman. <laughs> he, he's, he's a he's, gentleman he's, and a scholar. He, he can't even hide it. He's like, he's just hey, Matt. fine. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> the Messiah Complex Omni may need to have two volumes. If it covers all of X-Force, which I think is so crucial to those stories, it will. What's up, the collector? How are you, my dude? Can't stay at work. Just wanted to say Merry Christmas. Man, yeah. Merry Christmas to you, Matt. Of Got work. a bit too happy late last night and ordered myself Halo Jones Slipgate. Dude, that's awesome. Uh, I need to do an overview. That's one of the books I'm taking with me. Um, it's the Halo Jones Omnibus. Because I've only read the first part. I haven't read the last two, the two thirds. And I know it's not finished, but it's still cool to read it for the first time. Happy Christmas from here from the UK. No Christmas snack mail? No, I guess not. Yeah. Are you the Red Guardian <laughs> or the Crimson Dynamo today? Wait. Who are those people? Oh my gosh. I'm the they're, they're the Soviet super team. Oh. The robot Crimson Dynamo, Red Guardian. He was in the Black Widow movie. I didn't see the Black Widow. Melanie doesn't I don't watch like movies. movies. <laughs> she doesn't like movies. You saw Avatar last night? Avatar is like three hours. Nope. nope. <laughs> yeah, was nope. like, you want to go with me and the kids? Nope. nope. Three hours. No, thank you. I pre ordered a sleeper Omni. That shows up this week. My name is Bishop. You kill my future. Prepare to die. Dude, and then I didn't agree what they did with the character, and I don't want to spoil it, but after the Messiah Complex, I hated what they did with Bishop. Did not agree with that route. I don't mind him going after Gambit thinking he's the traitor, but you're kind of crossing the line when you go after, for those that have read it, no one, no. Tell me. Because the me. microphone okay. is huge. Wait. I can't. You said I love you. Please don't. <laughs> All right. Our, 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 a roguish type. Why do I always say that wrong? 
thank you for the super chat and uncanny x force by Remender reprint 2023 question mark man you just missed that on that when did you start collecting my dude uh that reprint came out in 2021 that was one of the ones one of the first ones i got to announce uh but i don't know i don't know what um you know every every february we we do a poll and we send that poll over to marvel and then they reprint um you know some of the books that are in our top 20. Did they get all of them this year? No, because they had Almost. To, they had to a good amount. Yeah, I think How many? somebody was keeping track. I think they they've done half. But what happened was is that they had to catch up because of the all the delays, so they had to only do one or two reprints a month and then it went to one oh, reprint a month yeah. and now they're starting to show back mm -hmm. up because they had to be caught up with everything going on. Uh, I want to thank this community for assisting in buying and reading a ridiculous amount of books this year. It's been one heck of a ride. You're welcome, man. We do have a wonderful community. Why did – go here for a second. Uh, Michael has sure. a good question. What uh, What do you dislike more, Cry for Justice and the or Rise and Fall of Arsenal, the New 52, then Drake, Tim Drake, or Wally – no, I'll tell you right now, Wally being wiped out of the New 52 completely? Nah. That that to me is what I dislike the most. Changes to Tim Drake, you know, I, I I've come to terms with that is a different Tim Drake than the one I grew up with because I mean they redid his entire background and history, and then they were all they were even mixed up with like okay was he a Robin was he not a Robin, but what they did with Wally was just dirty like getting rid of that character. <laughs> it's cold down here. You can turn the bed on, baby. Uh, no, I can't. Well, Craig Ryan, thank you for the super chat, my brother Mary Xmas. Let's get a. W and W, Fantastic Four. Oh, wait, wait, Ringo. Okay. For Omni Reprint. Melanie, do you have a home alone gift for me? Uh, first of all, thank you, Craig, for the super chat. And I'm so sorry I didn't. Uh, or I don't. I looked up Christmas gifts and actually spent quite a few minutes going through them. I love Home Alone. That's a good movie with a good score and good directing. It's John so Williams, this is a, right? uh, yeah, this is a good one as well. And it wasn't, I always I almost said, said John Hughes, but that's Christopher Columbus's first movie he directed, I think. John Hughes Christopher gave him, Columbus. John Hughes gave him a blessing. Could you tell us a where blessing. Perez and Music of Bender's Omnis are printed? And what does it look like under the Dutch jacket? Dean. Team Wally West. That's right, baby. No, I haven't even opened it, man. Oh, no. Look what you did. Look what you did. <laughs> I <Dean>. can't play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna open this up together. We're gonna... Okay. Um, to answer this question, what's your favorite Junji Ito short story? The, the one, holes. The whole. I was gonna say that. Oh, that is so creepy. Where they go, yeah. they got a, a, a body shaped hole specifically for them and a wall. Mm -hmm. for, not for them. For mm -hmm. everybody. Everybody has a hole their their size and shape on this wall. <laughs> That's so creepy. Um, Alex, I hope you have a good night at work and gang it's been a fun year watching your content especially getting to chat and catching up live keep Thanks. up the great work um have a kick butt christmas and, i'm gonna say it kick ass. <gasps> christmas and new year's eve much love to you and yours oh yeah we'll have a um live chat next week on christmas or christmas new year's, new year's eve. eve as well and then we're hosting a party Man. Oh, Christopher Chris Columbus's first movie was Avengers and Base. Oh, I love that movie like. so much. Who also had uh what's his name? Kingpin in it, playing the role of Thor. Small little oh, yeah, Easter true. egg there. Never get a chance to tune into the live stream, usually because I work nights, but today was special. Thanks y'all for being so kind. Um, oh good, I'm glad you got to. And what was your favorite reprint of 2022? Happy oh, holidays. Uh thank you. Thank you, man. Favorite reprint of 2022. Ooh. That's a tough one. I'm trying to think of the one that brought a lot of joy to people that they were like, I can't believe this is coming. Uh, uh, and then I'm trying to remember what came out in 2022. Kal-El. Good job, Kal-El. I, I tell you, Ultimate X, uh, Ultimate Spider-Man made a lot of people happy. But I think that was 2021. Then I started thinking of like Captain Britain, a book that people were like, there was no way they're ever going to reprint this. Jotham so, Central, Rodimus Prime Ribs. Oh, that's Central. a good one too. That's that's that that is definitely one. Um, Gotham Central and was there an absolute that they did? Yeah, so Goth, either Gotham Adventure Central. Who said that? <laughs> Cody. Uh, who said that? <laughs> Hickman FF. JMS Volume 1 and Ultimate oh, Spidey Volume 1. Hick yeah, that was a good one for everybody. Ultimate Spidey 1, I think. I will say that. Out of all the video announcements I do, 
like you know despite if it's for you or not this is good coffee it's just it's nothing gets the likes unlike like ultimate spider-man announcements (laughs) nothing gets the likes like nothing gets the likes (laughs) like ultimate spy i swear like it's amazing because first of all it, it surprises me so much that people are like yes i want this that's crazy like even more than x-men even more than x-men people like like physically hit the like button on those more than any other video any other announcement videos than x-men yes i can i i i can say that as the guy that keeps tabs on all the algorithm and all the numbers and stuff it's crazy how, and how fast those videos are shared People really like Ultimate Spider-Man. <laughs> Doc Holiday, thank you for the super chat. Have you asked David Gabriel why King and Black Omnibus tie-ins are not in the chronological order? What is your theory why it's not in chronological order? Wishing you and your family a Merry Christmas. Thank you. So uh, thank Shira you so much, man. man. And thank you for the super chat. Um, why, why do I think it's not? Probably because it's easier to reprint a bunch of trade paperbacks and just put them inside of a book. Call it a day. It, it's a project that he he himself is not in charge of mapping. I mean, he has different teams that do it. And whoever mapped that one was just like, well, let's put a bunch of traits together. I understand, you know, with some of these stories, it's okay to have an event and then the miniseries and then a bunch of other miniseries. Uh, but some tie-ins are very important, like the Venom tie-ins. I would have had those in between. The Venom, the Venom tie-ins, at, le- at the very least, in a couple of the one-shots, but... I think it's it's a matter of like time and a matter of the the files they have because they're sending this to a printer. So if you have like the 20 miniseries, let's say, and you already have them in different in, in files and all you got to do is put the files together and go print in this size and format. And this is just speculation, by the way. I assume that's a lot easier than going – Oh gosh, I gotta take these files apart. Imagine being at work at work, right? Imagine being at work and somebody throws this on you and they're like, and you can go the easy route of like, oh, let's just put this together in one file, ship it. Bob's your uncle. Or I have to sit right, here and figure saying. out to take this file apart and take this comic and put it here, then take this comic from this particular file. Yeah, I guess that's the way that I see it in my head. As somebody that worked in projects. Omar and David right Gabriel are the same person. No, we are not. No, we are not. People are given some really interesting Robert's your facts father. about Chris Columbus and Adventures in Babysitting and how much they love it. And I know Josh said he loved it. There, yeah, there's a lot Where of stuff. Where are you stuff. going? I'm going to get that portable heater. No, th- honey, that is too heavy. Turn Wait, the, I, I, li- no, no, I li- cloaked it up the stairs. Listen. Turn that heat. I have all the vents off. That's why it's cold down here. See, it's a lot easier to I fit. I know, but it's still going to be cold. If you turn that man. I'm going to. No, it's look, still, look. I swear to goodness, it's going to be cold. I'm going to turn both of them on. What's the percentage of the little arguments we get into on this channel? It was five, six. It's 90% comics, 6% oh, <laughs> fibs or whatever we call it. Uh, I'm sorry. Somebody asked me to show this. Uh, I'm over here arguing with my wife. Uh, Merry Christmas. And like your sweater. Thank you so much. And FedEx called it my deep, deep space nine sweater. See? The heat will come? Yeah. It'll come? Okay. All right. So underneath the dust jacket, who was asking? Dean. Look at me. Dean. This is Dean's fault. Uh, you have the classic Avengers cover here. This is the cover to volume one of the original Omnibus or a standard edition. And it's the wraparound. So it's all of the Avengers right there. Uh it doesn't smell like iMac, but the feel of the paper, because it has a different finish to it, is like iMac. I've been over here. What's up, Hunter? How are you, man? We're not fighting. It's Christmas Eve. We don't fight on Christmas Eve. How did you find Nick Spencer's Amazing Spider-Man? I got the Omni pre-order. Um, ups and downs. But he did something that made me really happy, that retcon a particular story that I was not a fan of. So ups and downs, my brother, ups and downs. Um, just like every run, though, that, you know, anybody that's written a, a, a long run on a particular character, they will always have their ups and downs. Um, can't stay. Wanted to say Merry Christmas to you guys. Man, Merry Christmas to you, Mike. Thank you for the super chat, my brother. 
Also, Bishop's a black dude mullet was dope. Speaking of fashion, I do like Omar's sweater. Male Scarlet Witch vibes. <laughs> so you're fighting besides Christmas Eve. No, no, we're not fighting. If you get the direct market, then you basically have both. Correct. If you get the direct market cover, then you get both covers. But the direct market cover, I think that image is also collected in here too. Oh, we're going to be honest now. By the way, Omar, let's be honest to each other. Your favorite reprint was Death of Superman. <laughs> I gave it away. Remember, I bought it and I ended up giving away one of our streams we did. Or no, it was a stream that Melanie did for the reading uh, project. Like some kind of, oh, it was a summer book club that she did. That was it. So no matter what, if I end up buying it, I ended up giving it away. <laughs> but you're right. Um, hello, Yusef. How are you? I've discovered used bookstores this year. I've found some great graphic novels there for a great price. Do you recall finding a book that you wanted at a place that was unexpected? Happy holidays. Yes. Some of my favorite stories. So, yeah, I mean, I could do a whole video on this, like the great finds for great prices. I mean, I was there during the great Amazon glitch of 2010. So there were Omnis I was buying for $8.88. And then... um. Barnes and Noble had them for $10 and was it maybe it was eleven dollars and twenty-seven cents, something like that. There was a huge mistake on one Saturday evening, early Sunday morning. And Amazon refused to order a lot of people's orders, but I'm the type of guy that didn't give up complaining, what some would call Yolanda. Uh, this is printed at the iMac printer, by the way. Omar, when is Uncle Bob going to be on the show? I don't know. I'm trying to find out from Melanie. Better late than never. What's happening? What's happening with you, my brother? Renee is Venom. Happy holidays. May I recommend Public Domain by Chip Sadarsky? A beautiful story about a father and son in the comic business. I know you would enjoy it. Thank you so much, my brother. Thank you. JLA Avengers. What a crazy reprint that was, right? For the wrong reasons, of course. Or not wrong reasons, I'm sorry. For a great cause. But the reason that it happened was because, you know, George was losing his battle to cancer and we ended up losing him this year. So um, he got to see it printed before he passed. The great Amazon glitch of 2010, baby. For those that were there, we remember the Amazon glitch. I bought one and I still only one and, and still regret it. I am so disappointed they didn't have the complete music Perez in a single bo uh, volume omnibus instead of putting the Avengers Forever for some reason. Oh, Avengers Forever is like one of my favorite stories, though, because holy moly, it fixes a lot of horrible storylines throughout the past. For anybody that's been an Avengers fan, even the including The Crossing, and you all know I didn't mind The Crossing, but um, there are a lot of things that it fixes in there and a lot of things that it does right. Damn, it's all killed. Omar's middle name is Karen. Yolanda, what comics that made you, uh, I didn't want to read this, but I need to finish it a lot. <laughs> a lot. My wife. Oh, yeah. I yeah, swear, if we is. lose power because you're turning that thing on. Well, you didn't say that, did you? Because you didn't. You it's the holidays. It's the holidays. All right. Since Kate's Venom run got an Omni, do you think there's a chance of getting a Thor one? If he wraps up that series... You're going to have to plug it in over there because I think that one over there. I don't know, baby. I don't know how much power that takes. How is TMNT IDW14? I've been debating buying it. I've heard mixed things. Not as good as the original run. It's uh, Sophie Turner. But if you're a fan of Sophie Turner's artwork, woo, solid. I'm back. Got off for a minute, but I'm back. Welcome back, Hydras. Just got to say, as 2022 comes to a close, thank you for your channel along with my rediscovery of comics has literally saved me. 2022 was the worst year of my life, but you all helped so much. Dude, thank you. I'm glad you're here with us, and it will get better. I promise. Someone posted on Facebook a used bookstore that was in a, in a state over from me, stocking Clone Saga 2 for retail price. I freaked out and stocked the phone until I could call them. Did you did you get it, Nick? Omar, does your family have Xmas traditions? Uh, does it going mi midnight mass? Does that count? You just made the lights flicker. I got a little worried there. Okay. Man, this feels good. I hope it's worth it. Thanks again for showing and telling the printer. Love you. Much love to you, man. So I, I think that's that's about it. 
Okay, honey. Uh, we lost a lot of creators this year, my dude. A lot of creators. Avengers Forever is good. I agree. It's one of my favorite Avengers stories. Why did Event Lothian suck so bad? I think because they threw Bendis into an event immediately after going over to DC Comics. CGN, that's cheapgraphicnovels.com, by the way. I hate when mom and dad fight. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, has a lot of Omnis for 30 to 50 bucks. You got it, Nick. Awesome. That's my dude. The heater runs on power of grace call. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. Channels and Menace and a curse to the public. I'm debating buying a hundred dollar death book. Thanks, Omar. David bought it. Yeah. He texted me saying, I bought that stupid duck book because of you. I did the same thing last year with the life and time of Scrooge McDuck. Now, and I was like, man, it's solid in that oversized format. It's a good book. I did not get any Omnis out of that Amazon glitch, but I got the first printing of Mega Man and Mega mm. Man X complete workbooks for free. Then Amazon sent me a $25 certificate for the inconvenience. That's what's up. Inconvenience. If you fight, will we still get our presents? <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. What's your favorite manga that came out in 2022? Besides Berserk. Can't pick it. Summertime Rending is awesome. I really like that book. And all hardcovers will be out this week. All six of them. They are, Udon is publishing those. Those are excellent. Um, what about you? Did you? Have I miss reading manga. So for the book club uh, through Patreon. What are y'all doing? doing? The, uh, My Hero Academia. I really don't know that much about the story. We're reading the first that's three a fun volumes. Book. And that's next week. And it, it feels like it, it, it's been a long time since we had book club meeting because, well, it's near the end of December. Just so much has happened in between it. But um, yeah. That's what we're uh, we're gonna do. Just got kicked out of the gym mid workout because they're closing early because of the holiday. <laughs> <laughs> womp, womp. At least womp, NMC womp. doesn't have holiday hours. I thought you got kicked womp, out because you were womp. we were being too loud and fighting. I got the Don Rosa volume nine and ten, four to go. Is it only four left? Oh, Don Rosa. I'm so sorry, Don Rosa. I thought you meant Carl Barks for a second. Sorry. Got ahead. Hey, Take care, buddy. You're. I don't know what you're doing up this. You're waiting for Santa. If you love summertime rendering, you must. Uh, love B reason zero R E R zero R E zero. It's not comic though. No, it's not. I, I remember uh, reading that years ago. I ordered a, <laughs> put my mom, mom on the hook, hook for both those, those oversized dog books. The last two years, years. She's, she's super confused. confused. I'm in my forty. <laughs> That's what's up. I ordered those summertime yeah. rendering uh, hardcovers back in the beginning of summer. I've been waiting. Yes. So the secret behind that, or the little behind the scenes, the printer messed up. So volumes one, two, and three were this big. Volumes four, five, and six were this big. And even though they lost money, they decided to do the right thing by the fans and have all the books reprinted to be one size. And now they're all coming back. So if you like Udon and if you want to get a good manga, that's definitely one that I, I strongly recommend. And if you want to pick it up, don't forget to go to waltzcomicshop.com if you live in Europe. They're out of Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for big books within the EU. Flat rate shipping of 12 euros for all EU countries. EU. EU. Bulletproof packaging. Emails will be answered within 24 hours. Superb selection of new titles and out-of-print books. Again, they're carrying manga. WaltzComicShop.com for more great deals and rare titles. And exclusively right now for all you viewers, you can use the code near me condition at the checkout. All one word. Get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros or more. Well, it's Comic Shop, your reliable source for Omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ting! Jazz hands, and I snapped out of rhythm. <laughs> Here's what the uh, Avengers book looks like underneath the dust jacket. Now that I've got it all. Remember to hit that like button. Thank you. I always forget that. Or you may end up on not, uh, Santa's naughty list. Or Krampus. The Hanukkah goblin may eat you. Merry Christmas to everyone. Merry Christmas to you, Kyle. You guys are so nice just to come in here and say, what's up, John Williams? Um, Sato76, we have not <laughs> questioned. Well, I haven't questioned his sanity, but uh, I mean, there's there's a couple stories I just didn't get into. Starman. What's the story you didn't get? Spider-Man loves Mary Jane. Yeah, but I don't think I would like it nowadays. Boys over flowers. I quit reading it. Karikano. Oh. oh, I haven't tried doing that again. Usually it's manga that she likes, and I'm like, what? You no. Usually. Of that 
Is there any genre that we don't like to read? No. I'll say no. Um, because I read everything. I don't, I'm not, I take breaks from superhero books and read other type of stories, crime. There's not a genre I don't really, I, I look at and I'm like, ugh, I don't look forward to reading that. Whether it's a Western, whether it's a crime story, whether it's, I love slice of life stories. Those are my, some of my favorite manga or slice of life where nothing happens. Mm hmm. So, yeah. So relax. Elizabeth Shu from... Um, uh, Thank you, Jeff, for the super chat. Allie with an I is 60 years old. She is looking good. I sound like Cousin Eddie. <laughs> that's not good. That's not a good. That's not a good. That's not a good thing to be. Nasty Mint. Instead of yeah, Mint. Yeah, he's been I just finished Conan by Aaron. By, by Crom. I need did you, more. Did you read the, the King Conan by Aaron? I thought that had a good like ending to the story. I thought it was good. <laughs> Omar reading Boy Love between Omnis. I'll be honest. I actually reviewed Boy Love manga when I was reviewing uh, for that magazine because who was it? Studio, uh, Studio Proteus? Who was it? That used to, Ima, no. It's the same people that did the translation for Digital Manga Press. That's who it was. DMP used to send me a bunch of boxes. And of course, there was like Berserk. That's what they were known for translating. But they were also known for translating like 10 different boy love manga and i'm like sure i'll review it I better not be. oh you, you didn't have to baby well, but then you ain't scared uh, if it would have been fine it would have kicked off okay but i got to the point where that's all they were sending me and i'm like i, I also like stories like berserk and, and helsing you don't have to just send me boy love manga so i ended up giving a bunch of them to my friends you know if that's your thing more power to you it's great uh, but I like a variation. Does Marvel give you any idea of whether things sell well? Yes. When there's a volume two or three or a future volume. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, but um, so not like. They, they never share numbers with me. I, yeah. I, I, if, unless, the numbers that people speak of, like, and this is a good segue to this. Uh, did you know? But whenever you see videos or whenever you see people post like, here are the latest sales charts, those people don't have the final sales chart. The only people that have the final sales chart for everything are the people that work in the companies. And those people that work in the companies are not allowed to share. It's not public knowledge. All you're seeing are direct market sales. You never see the book sales. That's why whenever you see like Diamond's top sellers, you don't see Dark Horse there. And then you wonder, well, how the heck is Dark Horse keeping the lights on? How are they still in business? Because they kill it in the book market. All those kids' books, all those Avatar books, all those properties and licensed properties, they kill it in the book market. Uh, Marvel and DC never released the sales of their book market sales. Like Diamond is the only one. And even Diamond doesn't have like the final sale because now we have PRH that's also doing the – distribution so anytime you see a video or somebody claiming oh let me show you the exact numbers of, of these sales they don't know they're just at, i mean they're they they're throwing out guesses and some probably some really good guesses out there but i mean nobody really knows unless you work for the companies and they don't share because you if you share then that lets your competition know what's working and what isn't working Happy holidays to you, Jack Ferry. Thank How come CGN hardly has any manga? We need to get on them for that. We need to get on. Well, actually, they can special order it for you, whatever it is, because they usually order from Diamond and PRH. Michael Scott. But I, I can I can talk to Max about that. Taylor talks comics. Who's helping with the social media? Yeah, big shout social out to him, even though he was media. blasphemous about Starman. Uh, not to mention the sales figures today are even less accurate. Having Lunar PRH and PRH in the game made it absolutely. Even yeah, so people that claim to know, like, oh, DC's failing and all that, that's they don't know. They know as much as you and I, and maybe if they work in the industry, they know a little bit more, but it's just uh, these, what is it called? Hype, uh, clickbait, clickbait. Oh. These clickbait um, thumbnails that people have, of like, why DC's failing, why Marvel Comics aren't selling, they don't know. Like, they can... <laughs> They can come up with stuff just like the National Enquirer and uh, what was the other ma Sun magazine? Was that it? The tabloids? Anyway, but that, that I just wanted you to know about the sales and stuff. They don't share that stuff. Happy holidays and Merry Thank X Mas. You. There's my dude X Mas. 
Omar, Melanie, and Minty's definitely read a more com read more comics this year than others. Thanks for the very informative reading order where to begin in top 15 series. You thank you, my dude. Thank you so much, Bert. And thank you for your help and the book you recommended, which I'm taking with me to my mother-in-law's because I need to read. It's a book book. It's, it's book, in book. my craft room. <laughs> oh, I need to get Michael's it's book. It's a book too. book. Say that. A book book. Um, let's see. Star was a huge tabloid back in the day. I was thinking oh, of Star, okay. not Sun. Then. So Brian's saying, if anything, I'm surprised that Omni sell. How many people can afford these hundred dollar books? I think it comes with, with with age. Um, this is a really good um, comment because I think the same thing, right? Like if you if you were to go back to your younger days when you were reading comics and comics were a dollar seventy five cents, a dollar ninety nine. Would you ever say, hey, one day you're going to be able to get this stuff on a bookshelf and then it's going to cost you $100 to $150? Like young you would be like, I'm not paying $150 for a comic. But – What's well, not a comic? I know, but, anyway. but it's <laughs> – A book of comics. I would have said a reprint. I ain't paying $150 for reprints. I want the real original books. But it comes with everything, right? When I always say nostalgia has a price. There are companies that make toys that look like our old toys. And I'm talking about like Super 7. Super 7 has a line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toys that are made to look like the toys we grew up with. The toys we grew up with were about, what, 3 to $5 for those back in the day. Now those toys are $50 to $65, $75 each. So nostalgia goes a long way. And... You know, the, the, we were all kids at that time, and now we grew up. We got a we got adult jobs and have expendable income that we can either build a car or buy collectibles or whatever we want. <laughs> and, and company and companies know. I mean, look at video game companies. How many times? I always make this joke to my buddy Rob Rob sixty four, who's on the Airman Collective. That hey, how many times have you bought Final Fantasy ten and actually played it? Like, and he's like, you're right. Like, I'm like, he's oh, bought, do. he's bought it. Like, <laughs> I've got three copies and I've played them all. <laughs> for every single device that he has in his house, for every console he has, he's bought a copy of Final Fantasy X, and he's only played it once, the first time it came out. And he keeps buying the updated graphics, the updated soundtracks, and I mean, so companies know, right? They know how to market these things towards us. But thank you. I didn't mean to get on a little preaching pedestal, but. I thought that comment that was, was really that was, was smart. Mateus, thank, thank you so, so much, much for the super, super chat, chat, my brother. Happy holidays to you as well. Thank you for the amazing work. Thank you. You get to rack. Thank you. Thank you. You you guys make the work so much easier. Seriously. So much easier. It's it's wonderful to to stay to stay here and talk to you all about these things. And you know, even the the wonderful people that have on my overview, sometimes I go. And talk about things like oh, I remember being at a comic book store when this came out. I remember this particular story, and you, know, you all enjoy those stories. Thank you all. I'm lucky to still have my toys, '80s toys from my youth, and uh, a bunch of '65. Ooh, I'm jealous of those messenger figures, which, might I add, are better than the old Shogun toys. I always that's why I got into the Chogokin, uh, Chogokin figures, man, the metal ones, because I remember seeing them in the open market in Peru when I was a kid, and I always wanted them, man. I always wanted them. Couldn't afford them. You know, we lived in a third world country. They had these toys out, like with fish and 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 vegetables. Yeah, she obviously likes Final Fantasy X. He's he's up on that neck now. <laughs> um, but now that I'm older, you know, I can go back and like, rebuy my childhood, the things that I couldn't afford as a kid. And yes, there is a new announcement tomorrow or tonight if yes, you're on Patreon. So, um, hey guys, happy holidays health and happiness to you all um filippos i'm gonna say mm -hmm. so you didn't miss anything announcement tonight for patrons and then tomorrow i think tomorrow oh. at 7 a.m is when i'm getting hey up, matthew getting up what's up matthew great artist over here and then final fantasy was my first ever final fantasy and i was in my early 20s Spira was an amazing place to visit oh i've got the map nicely drawn and i've got jack's uh voice actor side a picture of jack and <laughs> okay first of all he's the voice actor I've of grimlock <laughs> tara strong signed my copy because she's riku's voice my copy of the game 
Yeah, yeah she I'm loves that game. Of, I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> she loves that game. Do the FF10 laugh. Do it. Ha, 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 ha. And I know you know that's taken out of context, right? Right? He was supposed to be doing it dumb on purpose. Mark. Okay, Mark, thank you so much for the super chat. May you and the girls have the happiest of holidays and a great 2023. Much love. And that, as they say, is that. Oh, yeah. Look at my girls. Right, that one on the end. I was going to say she was on uh, Seventh Heaven. What the heck is that show? I can't remember what it was called. Tara Strong is everyone's. Yeah, she, she is. is. She is. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was dressed as a word when I had my picture. She was taken was she her. Raven? She was Raven in the Teen Titans, wasn't she? Tara? Yeah. yeah. yeah she's great. And in My Little Pony. And yeah. <laughs> do I have any feet tats? <laughs> no, no, Amanda, Amanda does. Uh, on her ankle. That's not a foot. Does she? Does she have a toe tattoo? No. Who has a toe tattoo? Uh, lots of people have a toe tattoo. What? A toe tattoo? Like the bottom? No, like on the top of the toe. That's your toenail. No, on the toe. Your, your toe is only made of your toenail? It's the holidays. <laughs> or how do you think they will fit that Wolverine Omni Volume 4 Fatal Trashes cover? Because they don't actually make a wraparound cover anymore. Last one I remember was Infinity War, I think. Yeah, because I think the, the problem is that the spines don't look that well on a shelf because you never know when you're going to get eight. Yeah, I both have a love and hate for wraparound spines. Like the Kelly Jones spines that you see here on Batman. Those wouldn't have been my choices for who is on the spine of those books, but you can't help it when you have a big piece of art. Party of Five, thank you so much. That's what it was called. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know if they'll do a wraparound or if they'll do a widescreen one. The wide <laughs> lands, landscape cover on, on the front. That's it. What, what are the people laughing? <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, the ankle is not a foot. This is the inside I come to MC4. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, Taylor Talks Comics is asking, what was the most surprising good read this year? A book that just caught you off guard and was way better than you expected. Wonder Woman, Gods and Mortals. Oh, so oh no, Dead Earth. I'm going to pick Dead Earth. Oh, that was fun. Wonder Woman, Dead Earth. There were books I was, like, that are going to be in my top 10 reads of this year that I... Going into it, I knew I was going to like them just based on the premise alone or based on a cover. But I'll be honest, the one that took me off the, completely by surprise was the Numa, Numa Ray, what was it called? Numa, Numa Ria, the, the Dark Horse fantasy book. Numar, it's in my top 10 this year. It never got knocked off because I loved it. It's like in a magazine type, like size type book. Numa Ria, oh my gosh. I did not put that book down because I was doing an overview of it. So I'm like, oh, let's start reading this. Whoa, the artwork and the story. I, I dug it, man. That's my type. Reminds me of like a 90s anime, if that makes sense for the people that grew up in that era. Oh, oh Barry, how are you, my dude? Hi, I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you all enjoy the holidays. Got two A minuses for final grades. Yes, my Three dude. Good job. A's. Overall, I had five classes in any case. In case any of you are confused, take care. Hey, good job. My That's dude, awesome. Man. Seriously. My dude, congratulations. Winds of Numa. There he, you go. So the winds of Numa Sarah. Yes. I think that's I'm I'm sure I'm butchering the pronunciation of the word, but yes, I loved it. Oh my gosh, yes, Kingdom Hearts did get confusing. <laughs> hey, <are we laughs> there's new? our nude nude guy. Have you decided on a vacation spot for next summer? Wait, 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 wait for it. Oh, yeah, Oops. well done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're gonna take the kids to Japan. I'm um, uh, after doing this for three years. By then, it'll be three and a half years nonstop working every day, and I mean every day. I'm taking two weeks off uh, in the summer to take my family and not taking any work, not filming. Maybe I'll film some things to bring back, you know, but. If they let me, uh, it, I just wanted Melanie, you know, reminds me that I need time off to, to rejuvenate, to, to refuel myself. You don't listen to me. I don't listen to her, but I do. I do. Like, you know, <laughs> like you have to, <laughs> you have to keep your, your health 
and, yes, and your did. mental health too. Yes, you do. And stop thinking about the grind. Yes, you do. And it's really difficult to do that. It's really you difficult. Do it before summer. Three. It'll be three and a half years that I have not <clears throat> done something for the channel every day. Even when I was sick, I was editing. When my dad was in the hospital, I was reading. Like it's just it's it's weird to think about that, but I mean that's that's business though right i mean this is what i do for a living and what i do for a living is a blessing and i and i still have to treat it seriously but i think i've i'll give myself two weeks off is good it's a good idea and it's something we've been saving for for the last few years so yeah I think hey, it, it, it'll be good oh is bar here mm -hmm. what's well, about time <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that three more comics? Right. <laughs> it's it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of work, and sometimes like my my eyes are like, oh, I need a break from the computer screen, or I need a break from reading. Mm. We appreciate your hard work, but take some time. Thank you, Kyle L. Thank you, man. Thank you. Did you guys color coordinate? We did. We did. We said red. <laughs> we said red. That's I said we something Christmassy. No, I'm it's not mad, mad at you. At you. <laughs> What's uh, in Japan? Mm. Toys. Col yeah. Culture. Oh the most gorgeous place on earth. It's, it is beautiful. We went there on our honeymoon and we, we fell in love with it. And we told ourselves we would bring our kids back one day. And now it's time to they're old enough to appreciate it. We'll have a 13, we'll have a 14 year old mm. and an 11 year old. Mm. So I think, it, and they're both, you know, I mean, kid, kids that age are big into Japanese things anyway, whether it's Pokemon or Mega Man or whatever it is. And me, I like giant robots, so I'll be hitting up. I the, like nature. I guess we'll be doing that. I told Lydia the story about how we almost went to the fox, the fox uh, forest, but you chose McDonald's over the fox forest because we were arguing. Did I? The one time we, <laughs> the one Sounds time, like <laughs> the one time we argued in Japan. Was the one time uh, it was a big time because I was like, I want to see the foxes, and you were like, I was tired, I'm tired, and I'm not gonna enjoy myself. I want McDonald's, and I said, We are in Japan, and you <laughs> want to go to McDonald's, and you said, Yes, it was our honeymoon, so I let it okay. go. Yes, you are correct. I mean, you are correct, as in we should have gone. <laughs> Give it been really, really tired. <laughs> Um, I watched the first episode Wednesday, Dean. Um, and I ended up liking it at the end. At first, I was like, oh, this is tropey. And then I was like, oh, this is good. Yeah. Uh, give it to Omni Dog. That's, your not, a, that's not a bad or, idea having some host. Uh, guest, guest host, host that would drop. Oh, man. Jess would get that channel canceled somehow. He'll be saying the stupidest things on purpose. Oh, goodness. Thank Purple you so rain. much. Thank you so much, my dude. Happy holidays, Melanie and Omar. Thank you for another amazing year of good reads and joy, especially on my sad days that have passed. Hoping one day I get to meet you in person at a convention. That would be really cool. That would be awesome. And I do need to plan out my convention schedule this year, too. I, I really want to do next year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I really want to do this, uh, San Diego. And I was thinking about C2E, too. I don't know yet. But thank you so much, man. Uh, Omar, take off for two weeks. That will be when Transformers GI Joe's license gets. Yeah, all these, all these things will drop. All these things will drop. And I'm like, and I'm out on YouTube. I come back. And I'm like, what the heck? Oh, dude, when we were, I remember when we were in Japan, I checked, I would check our email because I was the only, that was like, I don't want to, I don't know what, I don't want to know what's going on in the rest of the world. But I checked our email one time and I found out that both George Carlin, one of my favorite comedians, if not my favorite comedian of all time, had passed away. And Michael Turner had passed away within that same uh, week. And I was like, dang, that sucks. Damn. I like Turner's art, man. They're way too young. Probably have the biggest magazines in the world messengers. over there. Oh, messengers. Ma I read magazines. <laughs> yes, they do. Um, how was the McDonald's? <laughs> well, let me tell you. No, I can't get enough ketchup. No, I sound like I like McDonald's. It, it's okay. I really she don't just wanted something that much. American. I just wanted because, because we had been eating. It just it takes a lot of mental energy, right? I was physically tired, I was mentally tired. I just wanted something that I knew and I didn't have to figure out what it was. Um, which again, it was amazing, and the food was amazing, just just comfort food anyway. You could get a shrimp patty or you could get a Big Mac with like three, it was it three burgers or something. Oh, the super Big Mac? Yeah, something. The shrimp patty is the one that I'm like, huh, interesting. Huh. Yes, come to London. Oh, are, is, are you opening the doors to us, Tara? Where's my Japanese viewers at? Oh. I'm staying with y'all. Um, uh, uh, John was asking, 
um, about mail mail call mailbag time. Oh, we we we, we were going. I was going to go yesterday, but we seriously got like a huge snowstorm in I, so everything was closed. So no mail time, no art this this time around. The last week of the or the I'm sorry, the last Saturday stream of the year, we'll do that to catch up. Mm -hmm. I second you coming to the UK. I would like to go to the UK. You guys seem really nice. And I already know Bob's your uncle. And I've seen Faulty Towers. And what's the other show that your mom likes? Keeping Up Appearances. Keeping Up Appearances. <laughs> and some of my favorite things come from the UK. Did anyone get Windows 7 Whopper at Burger King while in Japan? <laughs> it was 7 Whopper Patty. No! We don't even get that here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Merry Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you too. Thanks, Lionheart. Omar, I agree with Melanie. You just got you just gotta you just gotta super chat me and About tell me that tattoo. I'm wrong. There's a difference between a toe tattoo and a toenail. Thank you. Thank you, Lionheart. <laughs> you know what? It's the holidays, okay. Lionheart. So I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna You're let gonna it slide. Be, uh, oh my gosh, what's the actor's name? Jeff Goldblum. I'm going to be Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> Red Dwarf, <laughs> yes. But you have watch Paddington. And where's Paddington from, Melanie? Peru. That's right. Paddington's from Peru. So you call me Paddington. Nope. Don't do that. Never mind. Forget it. Uh, we'll appreciate Omar and Melanie even more after two weeks off. Thank you. Especially when Omni Dog comes and takes over my channel and destroys it. Feliz Navidad to you, hermano. Muchas gracias. Uh, what do they call a quarter pounder with cheese? In I it? don't know. Is this a joke? A royale you know? with cheese. A royale with cheese. Pulp fiction. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, Patty is from Peru. Mm -hmm. Um, represent, man. So you we got llamas, Paddington. we got sloths. What else we, we got? got in Peru? Sloths, alpacas, and we do got you have Paddington. Sloths? You got sloths? Yeah, well, I mean, the they, big... not you. Okay, first of all, I'm you from Peru. Nine when you... <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, they do. And um, we got Paddington Bear. I wonder what's upcoming in the. Oh, good question. Big Stew in Orlando. I don't know if you were here last week, but I took a picture of my freaking calendar for you. Um, all right, you ready? You ready? All right, yeah. Okay, so this afternoon on this very channel will be the Who's Who Omnibus Volume 2 overview. Tomorrow on Christmas Day at 7 a.m. will be the announcement video from Marvel. One Omnibus. One new omnibus and one reprint. Uh, then in the afternoon will be the Captain Marvel by Kelly Sue the Conic overview. On the 26th is the Predator overview. That's Monday. And in the afternoon will be the Handbook of the Marvel Universe. The 27th, th this week I'm really excited for. It's a lot of work, but I'm super excited for. The 27th was just a Tuesday is YouTube's favorite graphic novel reads of 2022. And that's the YouTube content creator's that I've worked with to put it together. So I'm really excited to put that video together. We had like over 30 entries uh, for the people that replied and wanted to be part of it. That's awesome. Uh, 28th, which is the Wednesday, is my top 10 collected editions that came out this year. Not reads, collected editions. The 29th is the top 10 reads of 2022. Cannot wait to talk about those. Limit myself to less than 20 minutes, I hope. And the 30th will be the upcoming collected editions for January. We'll be back on the live stream next Saturday for your final live stream of the year on the 31st New Year's Eve. And you actually get some 2023. The first classes. will be my top 10 picks for January. Okay. And if you watch the Predator Omnibus, watch the whole thing. You may be up for a prize. Maybe. Omar, uh, he asked about the best channel. He meant Omnidog's vault. Who's this man? Who's right? Is that Omni Dog with his separate account again? McDonald's equals food for Shakespeare. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. What? <laughs> because okay, I don't. I gotta teach Romeo and Juliet a couple of months, not the whole thing. There's some pretty parts. Let's see. Well, is Predator Omni still on schedule next week? Like for Christmas, but ready for the Three Kings Day. Dia de lo, los Oreos. Dia de los Oreos Magos. Reyes mug. Did you have that holiday as a child being Hispanic? What if I like just punched you in the face? Oh yeah, that would be that would be so funny. <laughs> did you uh, have yeah, that? we did. We did, man. I, I tell you what, my mom did. That I. Well, but when is Three Kings Day? When we usually had it uh, before Christmas. Like I think it was like, ah, uh, when was it? It was after because it's when they come down from. The, what we would do is my mom would have this big mountain. 
I don't know how they do it in other Latin American oh, countries. Oh, I remember. Yeah. And it was it was setting the stage. So the little figures that were little statues would move up the mountain mm -hmm. every day. And then we would come back. Are you kidding me right now? What's happening? Jess. Oh, and did you send Bar the comics for that kid? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. She's like, when she's complaining, she wants to keep them. And the kids thought, I don't know, you haven't mailed them out or something. I think she's the kid. She lied to me. <laughs> Have you got the DJ cover for Daredevil by Miller and Jansen Omnibus? Are the spine the same on both of them? Do you want the files? I just have the one that I got. I showed it a couple weeks ago. Team Omni Duck. I know that's Jess. I know you're watching me. I know that's you. Quit stealing my ideas. <laughs> yes, do it, Melanie. That would be so funny. Wait, what are you doing? Yeah, hitting me. Coming hitting out, me. This woman <laughs> has a third degree, fourth degree black belt in Kempo. She could take Man, me out. Po. We don't, I don't you need that. I don't need that on a live stream. It ain't like I deserve it. What I do? I just ask you not to bring the heater down. Three Kings for us in Puerto Rico is the 6th of January. Yeah, I remember we would take stages of like walking down this mountain. And on the, like a week after Christmas is when the three days, uh, the three Kings is. You get show box, put some grass in it for the camels, for the three Kings. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all these Latinos in the chat. Who are you blocking? Oh no. Sex in the city. But that's a real dude, I think. Sexfine.info. This lady, mind you. <laughs> Viva team. Okay, you too? Really? You too? <laughs> I bite my thumb at thee, good sir. <laughs> Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? I learned how to say that from uh Leonardo DiCaprio. No, Leonardo DiCaprio's version of Romeo and Juliet. Oh, that version is so horrible. Is it all on my side if I say yay? Then I bite my thumb at you. Like lots, that. Are people lots are people too. too. That should be a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I'm too stupid to catfish for comics. That kid is blowing me off. That kid is blowing I thought y'all were fun, like friends and stuff. I'm just glad you got it. Somebody's having trouble with their, I think it's in Turkey where I mailed it. And they want to charge him taxes for it. And I'm like, just have them contact me. And they haven't replied. They blocked his number. The postal service. I don't even know what to do about that. So I asked the postmaster and he's like, yeah, he shouldn't have to pay for anything. You paid 80. What was it? 80? No, it was $98 to have that shipped. Yeah. There's my buddy Project Viking. What's up, my dude? Oh, here. First, can Gio have a Christmas miracle <laughs> and announce an in humans omnibus? One day he will. One day he'll have that miracle. Uh, hey, Alex, how are you? A merry Yule to all of you. Yule. <laughs> I get it. Pioneer, pioneers get the arrows. Yeah, I showed it. Um, do you not get it? You oh. yeah, I get it? Okay, okay. Did you finish any advent calendars today? I finished my Lego Star Wars calendar with a cute little R2D2 and a Christmas sweater. Oh, no. I hope I get to finish my calendar calendar things to do before we take this trip to Melanie's mom's house. Hopefully, hopefully. Three, Three kings, kings to celebrate so more for the old folks in uh -huh. Santa. Oh, that I believe. Omar, is there a chance in heck to get a Silver <laughs> Sable omnibus? Silver Sable? Sure. Uh, one day, whenever her movie gets... Well, no, she already had a movie announced, and then it got canceled. I don't know what market you watch. You, know, you want to reach, Omar, while bots are people, too. I don't think I've ever seen an Autobot or Decepticon wearing a T-shirt. Mm. I'm pretty sure I have. If you've not read enough Transformer comics... Uh, Spike on Quito in his life. I need some. We're, re uh, we're reading. <laughs> we're drinking Pisco tonight. Mm -hmm. Y'all have, uh, it's a Peruvian drink, Pisco Sour. That's what we're drinking. And then I'm going to have a little eggnog with bourbon. You excited for more Remender and OHC? Yes, I am. I'm very excited for you people that never got to read what I call his magnum opus. And that's Fear Agent. Finally coming back to print in library format. And Tokyo Ghost is coming back to print can't remember what what other book. Well, we're finally getting the last Deadly Class, too. Sad to see that series go. Aw, but Omni Dog's a scholar and a gentleman. I wouldn't fight that him. guy. <laughs> yeah. I love Jess. When will you do your overview of Wolverine Volume 3? Probably the... The week that it comes out. It keeps getting delayed. Sometime in January, for sure. It's been back there. Shoot, I can do there. I can do that over you right now, man. I love those. Those are my favorite Wolverine. I can get that book right now and be like, random page. Let me tell you about this story. <laughs> now revenge. that's my black belt comics. <laughs> 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 that's so stupid. 
<laughs> I know how to stretch a spine. It's like oh the, my god, the, I'm the missing... body python skit where you defend yourself against a banana. <laughs> I was just thinking about training my pupil by stretching <laughs> the spine. Not... Stretch the spine. Stretch it. Wax on, so wax off. Lift those colossal <laughs> conan armies. <laughs> how long do I have to do this for? I don't know what I'm training him for. A readathon. Uh, this is a good question. Any sci-fi novel you plan to read in the new year? I I don't have a plan. I definitely will. Man, my favorite non-comic book read was 2001 Space Odyssey. Oh, she loved man. that book. I just ordered to uh, read next year the Christmas in Duckbird HC and the Donald Duck 2 pack Christmas HC set that includes Christmas on Bear Mountain and Christmas in Shackletown. Shackletown. Christmas on Bear Mountain still one of my favorite ones. Somebody was saying Pisco is a Chilean drink. I always thought it was a Peruvian thing. <laughs> Not even close. Puerto Rico. Are you Puerto Rican, dude? Please do a random page. I didn't know that. Uh, please do a, ran a random page. <laughs> oh, a random page on the omnibus? Uh, it's probably going to be the one with like uh, the Venom and Spy uh, so, And I cannot remember the artist who did that. Omar, pick two Superman stories James Gunn needs to use for his movie. Brainiac. That story is so beautiful. And I can take the Son of Superman. Son of Superman would be good. All right, here. Random. See, oh, that's Wolverine the Sam Key. Sad. That's a team up with Wolverine. All right, so Sam Key. Why is he sad? Because Nightmare's involved. So it's Wolverine's oh. team up with Ghost Rider, and they're fighting uh, Nightmare and uh, oh, Dr. Doom. I, I did read. I read this one, didn't I? I think. It's a no, Dr. Doom wait, story. wait. Did Wolverine team up with Venom against Nightmare? Yeah, nightmares. Okay. Well, well, I read that it, one. The, <laughs> but he keeps coming back in these Marvel Comics presents stories. They were really okay. trying to make nightmare happen. That's, I knew you would choose that instead of like. What do you mean? I knew. I randomly opened it. Wait, what? What? What's wrong with that? Look, well, I wanted. I wanted to talk about the oh, the, cool. the Larry okay. Hama stuff because that's my jam. Well, this is this story right here. I love this blood and claws where they travel back in time to the Spanish Civil War. And they this team up good. with Ernest Hemingway. Puck is Puck, it Simac? Because it actually smells good. I think I it's Simac. Like Puck gets restored to his size that he was supposed to be. Because everybody thought Puck was a dwarf, but no, it was he got cursed. I think it's Simac. Then I already go over that. Yeah, it's Simac. Oh, these stories. Uh, to bring uh, Why did wait, you open this? All right, I have to put this, up, put this up. Put this up. Uh, put this up. Somebody suggested a book to me. Read this from Alex. Inferno Prologue. You were correct, Armando. X-Men has become one of my absolute favorite corners of comics in the universe. We need to catch up. There look, look. People are arguing. El Pisco es peruano, just <laughs> like Omar. That's right. And then you, you Chileans are trying to take our Pisco just like you took our land. You didn't say Peru all the way. Oh, I didn't. Peruano. Um, try the Honoverse science fiction book series. Tree Honor? Cats rule. Ooh, I read that as you. Honorverse. But... <laughs> <laughs> no verse. <laughs> you also have a master's in English and you were raised in this country. So I'd assume you would know how to pronounce things more than me. Nightmare was rumored to be an original yep, Jurassic I remember uh, reading that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would be a good one, maybe. But I know, Any right chance thing? of the Darkness saga reprint? What was all the before Darkness books for? Uh, I know. <laughs> it's like they were heading that route and we didn't get a reprint of that book. You should find a Christmas picture from No Man's Land omnibus next. Right. Oh my gosh! Yeah, read the book. Page. It's just right here. I, I'm not that good. I can't just open You're it up. You're one with your books. Melanie talked pretty one day. <laughs> right. She's trying. She's trying um, her best. Do you use software? No. Or an app? No. To keep track of all your books, or do you remember them all by heart? <laughs> the videos you take. I take video for insurance purposes and inventory. My friend, I was showing her the basement, and she was like, she asked the same thing, and I was like, eh, the videos. I know when there's a disturbance in the force and a book is missing from where it's supposed to be. And I'm like, oh, somebody's touching my stuff. With all those Star Wars, Transformers, Alien, Predator comics around, who is doing Star Trek comics? I don't know. That's a good question. Because the well, one of the few X-Men books that can't be reprinted is the X-Men Star Trek by Mark Silvestri's art, too. Mm. Any chance of a light and darkness war? OHC. No, nothing yet, brother. Where IDW, you thank you all. Thank you, Joe and Neon. They're saying IDW owns the rights. Oh, or that's is right. doing it. Those honor books. Thank you. 
so I can read the word honor instead of Omnar versus. All right, do a random page for the New Republic. No, no. <laughs> I said Wolverine. I'm not bragging about no New Republic. I assume it's going to be Luke Skywalker hanging out with Darth Vader. Yeah. Okay. So Spider-Man versus Venom Omni, uh, or the story against Nightmare. Yeah, yeah, that's the you did read it. So because you read the Ven, Ven, uh, the Spider-Man vs. Venom okay. Omni. Thank you for that, Dean. Yeah. Oh, Jack's got a super chat. Thank you, Jack. Oh, oh, and Jack Jack. Jack and I, how have you been, my brother? Um, thank you so much for the super chat. And let me get a kitty one. I hope you like kitties. Thanks for helping me remember my love of comics. When I discovered your channel, I wasn't aware of collected editions. I'm so you sorry. both are the best. The best. <laughs> Thank you for all you do. 12 Days of Christmas Collected Editions Advent Calendar, go! Oh, what a good idea. Whoa! What a good idea. <laughs> hey, man, thank you so much. And I'm sorry to your wallet, though. But I'm glad you're here. And, and seriously, thank you. Are you going to say you're 12? 12? 12 I, I think, thank you for all you do. 12 Days of Christmas Collected All right, here we go. Oh, all right, all right, here we go. Uncanny X-Men Volume 1. Uncanny X-Men Volume 3. Wolverine Volume three this is my favorite wolverine omnibus i love this book uh new warriors volume two gotham central spider-man the uh spider-man blue gallery edition i'm gonna go that oh, that route yeah. life and times of scrooge mcduck the big beautiful edition um I, hmm. trying to think of the uh, the DBC, oh no, no, Vagabond, Vagabond, big, big, Viz big, Berserk Deluxe Edition. I'm at nine. Uh, absolute, so oh, just absolute say, man. Uh, the Akira box set, and then the last 12th day is the EC Library tells uh, Vault of Horror. I like Vault of Horror a little more. There you go, man. Thank you. Did what you a, get a kiss? Uh, mm, look at that. Wonderful list. Was that from you or Jake or not? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we have things to talk about, Jake or not. Uh, uh, thank since you, Jack. Buron Song's the... Fist of the North Star reprints <laughs> keep coming. Do you think they'll do a Sanctuary manga? Will be reprinted anytime soon? I hope so. And I hope they reprint Strain, which or Stain. No, Strain, which is another classic one. My the Psychic Girl, if you've not read it. Those are My the Psychic Girl, you can still find pretty cheap. Sanctuary, I know, has gotten harder and harder to find. Can I get a Harley gift for no reason? Really? No reason. Because your bar. Because your bar. And I did. I got you a new one. I got you a new Margot Robbie. Oh, look at you with your <laughs> knowledge of actors and actresses and actors. That was just for you, Bar. Stop being cute as gross. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Jack, you're not the one that gave him a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> my The Psychic Girl was my first manga. It was one of the earliest mangas published here by Viz. At the time, they were still doing the, what was it, the Eclipse label line. So we had that, Dagger, Dagger of Kamui, and Area 88. Juju Kaisen, 1 through 17 in Volume 0. I'm hoping that they do a box set of those. Because I'm I'm really wanting one of those uh, box sets of that that series. Bar, it's good to cry. Yeah, cry, go it and cry, cry it Go out. and cry. Collected editions are a great weight loss program. I've lost 30 pounds now that I've spent my money on comics and can't afford food. <laughs> my buddy Matthew. I can't wait for Planet of the Apes Omnibus. Used to watch it on TV with my grandma here. Favorite show. That's Aww. awesome, Terry. So, yeah, this is what I mean. Like. There are people that are excited for certain books, and I love that that the excitement that people have over certain titles, for because it, it feels like everybody is excited about no matter what Spider Man book it is or or X Men, but then there are people that are like, oh, I can't wait for that. Rain like Knights of Pendragon is still one of my favorite reactions I got on um, Twitter. Opening those not to disturb the force, but I think your Deathstroke Omnis yes, fixed. They're Good inverted. Eye. Do you have a separate insurance policy for your books or is it covered under your home ins owner's insurance? The, the home insurance, depending on your agent, can find you a separate policy for collectors, for collections. And it's still a percentage of what your home is worth, too. So, yes. Uh, Which one? It's it's a separate uh, okay. coverage. What do Although you the collection might be worth more than the house. All right. No. I don't know. 
those Sega Sat Sega Saturn and Sega CD games, though those things, ooh, they're there are some that in the condition that I have them in, like are, a thousand, yeah, each. And there's some like 700, but it's just crazy how much they go for these days. So if you got Sega Saturn, Sega, um, Sega CD game, send them my way. Uh, Omar, what do you think? <laughs> the change of spine of Wolverine 3 using the Wolverine logo this time around. Yeah, I'm glad. I mean, it's the Wolverine logo. But I'll be honest, if I wasn't, you know, if I wasn't getting review copies from Marvel, I'd be okay with my old logo with, mixed with these. Look, being a, you know, I know spines bother some people, the spine changes in, in books, no matter if it's Marvel or DC. As a manga reader, you just get used to that. Just looking at the shelf over there, Viz and Dark Horse books, where the logos are all over the place, depending on the book you got. So it's just something I got over. Panzer Dragoon Saga is, yeah, the only, is the only one I'm missing because I let my buddy Matt borrow it. He moved to New York. His ex-girlfriend sold it to a pawn shop, including all his Sega Saturn stuff. We don't talk about that. Nothing. Save money for Japan. That's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. I really, because uh, I've got plenty to read. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think Christmas for us, or for me anyway. Oh, for my birthday, though. Oh, yep. I said birds and poetry. <laughs> Anything bird decorations and some poetry books. There for, you go. Um, I think it's come to like, the, you know, we live through our kids. It's, it's all about our kids enjoying Christmas and opening presents. I was oh, I stressed that last night. I was counting and I'm like, why does one child have more than the others? Because I wrapped, I had to unwrap things. I had accidentally wrapped one that was Lydia's for Alicia. And then I kept recounting and I, and I, and first I world drank problems. eggnog. <laughs> because I was like, I can't keep these presents first, straight. First world problems. I, mean, um, I was telling my kids, like, in Peru, you know, growing up, we got one present. My mom and dad never had presents under the tree for each other because they couldn't afford it. And back then, we couldn't. I mean, you, we, that's why we didn't, us and a lot of other families didn't believe in Santa Claus. Because how can you tell a child that writing a letter to somebody yeah. and sorry, you were, you were good this year, but you're still not going to get a gift? Like, so to me, you know, it, it's special to see my kids open up and, you know, gifts like I always saw. <laughs> In American television or in American movies, like that, that that was the American dream to me, uh, because we, my brother and I, only got one present each, and I thought that was. I remember the very first Christmas we celebrated in America. Um, we came on January third, and I went to my, we went to my uncle's house, and I saw, I counted twenty presents, and I told them, I thought it was so sweet that they waited to open all their presents with us. Because I'm so we were so used to getting one present each that counting 20 presents, I thought it was for the entire family, like everybody, my uncles, my aunts. And my uncle was like, no, those are for you all, just you and your brother and, and your mom and dad. And I started crying because I, I, I will never forget that feeling, man. Like, what? You guys give each other more than one present? And it's something that I've never really taken for granted. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to get all mm -hmm. emotional about that, but brought back some memories. It also explains one of your motivators for having a collection, right? <laughs> and one like, of my deep and, down and, psychologically, and one of my motivators, <laughs> one of your motivators, why I love giving things away because I know that feeling of how special something is if you don't have anything. I know what it's like. Um, Do you know this answer? Mm, what okay. was the first? Omnibus that you bought, and what was the first one Marvel ever published? I imagine it was Fantastic Four. Okay, the first one you bought was Uncanny X Men 1. Mm -hmm. uh, Correct. I don't know the first one. Published. First one was published because that is David's favorite comic book, Fantastic Four, and it had the old spine. So it had like the white spine uh, in it. No, it had the black spine, and it had the Marvel, Marvel Omnibus red on white. So instead of you know how we have oh, white on yeah. red, mm -hmm. it was the old school red on white. So it's cool. If you still have it, I think I know some people that still have it, or some people have shared pictures of it. I I got rid of mine a long time ago because it was I wanted the spines to match as as much as possible. Um, there is a super sticker from Bar, 
and since I already showed you the Harley Quinn, there you go. Don't tell anybody. I hope you like Darcy. Oh, Darcy. Okay. Uh, have That's you read my super the current chat. soft cover, Omar? Have you read the current Poison Ivy series? And what are the chances of it being released in hardcover? I have not read it. Uh, I'm sure it's great. Yeah. I, I, I haven't read it. I'm sorry. Uh, what are the chances? If she shows up in the next Batman movie, very strong. Thanks for the um, Sega yeah, Center yeah, reminder. Thank you for the super chat. And I remember in 97, spending a fortune on X-Men versus Street Fighter yes. import from a Saturn arcade perfect fun time. Do you remember why, though? Because you had to have the uh, four, was it, megabit uh, RAM cart. Because the Saturn came with a RAM cart expansion that you could put your RAM cart in. Oh, thank you, man. You deserve a hug. There you go. Well, here's your kiss. Um, so yeah, that was really cool. Like the way to like the graphics and all that. You had to put the RAM card in because the PlayStation One was limited to 2D animation. So in order for you to play things like Street Fighter Alpha, like you had to choose the same character. So you, you didn't have... say it right. Street Fighter Alpha. Oh, the, yeah, the, I forgot about the because <laughs> in Japan the, the the game was called Street Fighter Zero Three. <laughs> and it's amazing that they kept the entire dub of that, except, except in America, alpha. they renamed it to Alpha, so it's like Street Fighter Alpha 3. <laughs> and I'm like, who did they, did they just grab Mr. the Tex. guy that was like yeah. Thank you cleaning, for the, super sticker. cleaning the floors to come in and do a quick dub of Alpha? Um, the Somebody earlier asked, if you can answer really quickly, is Wolverine 3 a standalone, or a good standalone read? 100%, yes. Oh, that's what I thought. Yes. Because it it has uh, different times of Wolverine. It's got him going back to the X-Men and, and revisiting the Weapon X project. What's up, Bad Wolf Comics? He was one of the guys that uh, was in this project that I'm working on for Tuesday. Hope you all enjoy it. I don't know how long it's going to be. Uh, current Poison Ivy series is awesome. It will be hardcover without a doubt. So good. All right, Mr. Tolliver. I like that. Kill or Be Killed is being reprinted next year. You own the CGC? Any CGC? Slide? I own four. <laughs> where's a good place to buy cgc slabs online i don't know man i'm sorry i own four because my wonderful viewers sent some my way that's the only reason why i have slabs uh whether it was uh kyle or filippo or um hunter they sent me some slabs it was wonderful and i always i will always keep them uh i don't really collect slabs i think you know i think they're cool I like to open books up and read Happy holiday, friends. May all your wishes come true. Like button. Yes, smash that like button. Thank you for the reminder. Happy so before holiday. we go, what are your suggested Christmas reads? For example, Hawkeye Fraction, is it good for Christmas? Yeah, some of the issues in there are. Uh, uh, Christmas on Bear Mountain. Carl Barks, the introduction of the greatest duck ever. <laughs> One of the greatest characters ever. I want to start reading Ranma. Those volumes, but those editions are out of print. I really hope they bring Ranma. back the big Viz editions like they did with Inuyasha. There's 18 volumes of those. And I want Ranma in, in those big Viz editions. I love Rumiko Takahashi's artwork, even though she tried to destroy my channel. No, she, she personally did not. She did not. The so going did. along with that, uh, will yes. there be more manga content? Yes, there will be. So I'll be doing uh, a summertime uh, rendering hardcover overview sometime in the next week or so. And I'll be... Looking at different titles because I'm in, just talking about manga. We wish you a merry. Were you Christmas. singing? We wish you a merry. Christmas. Is there any DC omnibus that are releasing next year? We knew of a Justice League Dark Omnibus Volume Two and a couple of reprints. I think that's it. But uh, this is the one I was going to talk about. Phantom Stranger for the fourth time has been solicited. Oh, Batman Noel was Batman good. Batman. That was good. Almost every year and. No, she's yelling. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, 2022 list has Poison Ivy in one of the best series. You have to you check You have to check it out, Omar! <laughs> Thank you for reaching across the screen and choking me. <laughs> okay, I will. Um, Yes, it is 1 o'clock. So how many more questions? Let's do three more questions. I just want to take this time uh, to say thank you all for joining us. And if, whether you're with family or whether you're by yourself, I'm glad that we got to spend it with you all. Y'all are a wonderful blessing and a huge part of this channel. I could not be doing this without you all. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, yes, uh, I, I answered this one already. About oh, the, okay. The um, Omni's coming out next year. Or from DC. 
Well, Those are the ones that we know Rider were solicited. Epic Volume 2. Yeah, that will come out. Happy Christmas, Omar. Thank you, and Melanie, and to all you mentees. Thank you. Great pen, penultimate pen live stream of the year. Thank you for doing this nonstop each Saturday. Nonstop. Uh, nonstop, yeah. Except for two Saturdays in the summer next week. <laughs> I'll try to sneak in there somehow. <laughs> no. Melanie would yell at me. Not. She'll be like, oh, I'm better. Dr. Stone. <laughs> Oh, Dr. Stone is good. Yeah, I like that. Me and Lydia both bonded over that. She loves that. She It was a hard choice for her, which was her favorite read. I hope that you and your girls have a wonderful day tomorrow. Sending love to you all and happy holidays to everyone in the chat. Thank you, my dude. Thank you. Thank Sergeant, Sergeant Savage, Savage, thank you for the, the, for the super chat, my brother. Happy holidays. Thanks for all the advice and insight. Love how dedicated you are to the group. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, it's, it, it's my pleasure. It is my pleasure. What is she were holding? Like that little holding. creature. I don't know. Uh, last question. Is there are there any DC crossover books? Yes. Uh there's some they're out of print. There's some with Top Cow. Uh there's some with Dark Horse. Dark Horse ones are awesome because it's like the Justice League and Aliens crossover. Uh the Batman Predator crossover, which are amazing, which will not probably be reprinted when Marvel does the Omnis. There's just no way. Dude, Trigger knows this is in the house. Let's take one more question because, you know, it's, mm, okay. it's, it's, it's the it's the. I like Batwoman. I own a few issues, but no little DC. Would you recommend the Batwoman Omnibus? Yes. Oh, my gosh. For the art alone, seriously, for the art alone, that J.H. Williams art is so good, so mind-blowing. The spread pages are beautiful, and Greg Rucka's writing is so good. Now, now, Greg Rucka ends up leaving the book, and so does J.H. Williams, but those beginning issues are worth the price of admission alone. And in, in, in oversized format, they're beautiful. Don't dig the cover. Weird cover choice. <laughs> yeah, show the cover. The foot. The foot. The, the foot. The foot. For a split second, of I all, liked it, and then I was like, no. Of all the J.H. Williams artwork they yeah. could have chosen, <laughs> they went with the foot. That's bigger than, like, her body. <laughs> well, okay, but let me let me just show, let me, let me show you a little something, something. Let me show you a little something, something. Look at this. Look at, look, at, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. I read that story. Oh, my gosh. His art is so good. And his spread pages are just killer. This guy's an amazing artist. Look at that. I'm sorry about that. That one. I'm touching here. There. Right there. All right. <laughs> there we go. Uh, seriously, that, that's a good purchase if you've not picked it up. Uh, but that's it, everybody. That was our holiday episode. I got to actually record something while I'm down here. I want to yeah, thank you all. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Stay warm. And have a wonderful Christmas holiday, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, festivals. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. And as always, stay minty. We'll be back next Saturday. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs>